Welcome back, everyone. Can you hear us? Yes. Hey. But you can also hear the video game. Let's meet that. Okay, yeah. Oh, there we go. Fix that. Uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew for kind of 2019 yeah, this season. Is season two. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to call it season two or I don't know. Yeah, it kind of just keeps going. That's but, the... it, but there's a nice delineation when yeah. we had the award show. Because it, it was kind of a wrap-up of 2018. Now we're kind of into 2019. Definitely. Well into. Uh, because we took a little break. Um, and I felt that it was necessary to totally. kind of just d decompress after the Atari Awards. Because it was it was a big you know, build-up and this yeah. big production that we had to do. Welcome, Dinoid and Ad hey. Patras. Ad Patras. Yes, that's a new name. Welcome. Definitely. And RC7E. I've, I don't know if I've seen you before. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they've been around. Oh, they've, they've been, around. been around. I'm sorry, yeah. man. Tiki Dan K. Thrust Definitely 26. Thrust. And everyone else. Oh, Jared, Jared West, West snuck hey, in. Dude. Just snuck in the last second. But yeah, we had a little time off. About a month and a bit. Oh, Carl, Carl G. G. Welcome. Tiki Dan K says hello. Hi, Dan. Um. Because there's a lot of work, a lot of work to put that uh, show together. Holy cow! Um, all the video and all the paperwork behind the scenes was was a big deal. Yeah, because you had to order all these like trophies oh, and stuff, and organize I... all these people, and that was a really fun like wrap up. Like I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, and it, but it was a weird thing because it was it was I missed doing the show, but at the same time yeah. it was nice to have a bit of a break to yeah to do other things. It is and... for me. It's twice a week. For you, it's once a week. Totally. It, it is. It is. It's a lot. And, and it, it yeah, it changes the whole Wednesday. Like you know, <laughs> which isn't a does. bad thing. I appreciate it a lot. It's something to do, and it's great. But it's so yeah, it's good. But it's good to be back. It's like it is really two good to and... be back. I I miss it. Yeah. Did, did you miss? I doing did. This? It's like a. It's like a fun time you set aside to play some games and talk with great people. Yeah, I think I missed just kind of like checking in with all the people the most. <laughs> yeah. Just knowing what was going on. Like, what are you and guys doing the... out there? Yeah, I mean, because also seeing you is... is yeah, it's cause... our time together. <laughs> yeah, because it's easy to, like, it's hard to schedule time, especially to part of the taking a break from the show. It's not taking a break from each other. But no, because we did see each other once in a while. Actually ran into each other, like, randomly a couple oh, yeah. times. yeah. But, but it is. We live in the same neighborhood, so yeah. I'm like literally five <laughs> minutes away. But it's to just fill that like that slot with other things because there's all, lots of stuff on my pipeline, lots of stuff in James's pipeline. Yeah, he's been dealing with the movie. Yeah, his sh movie play. I got to see it for the first time in theaters. Yeah. Um, this weekend actually and on was, the big screen. And it I did this. Nice. I did the color correction on it, so it was cool because that means I, it's like the Photoshop, but for video. Yeah. So I was I went in you and made it, it look pretty. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yep. And so it was neat to see it on properly played on the big screen and, and having that experience with... Also, Tanya was there and Darcy was there. Yeah. So it was this kind of classic... Usual suspects. Yeah, yeah. And we all just hung out and, and watched the movie and he did like a little Q&A afterwards. It was yep. great. It was lots of fun. Oh, I didn't do my proper intro. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew where we play new games on classic consoles broadcasting at 60 frames a second so yeah, if you're 60s key. not watching at 60 make sure you do set it to 60 because you'll see only games... odd numbers yeah line counts my yeah, friends line counts and and um one of these games takes uh uses 60 frames a second quite highly so you definitely want to be watching at 60 frames a second and once again i have no idea what any of these games are i show up with my surprise. coffee and i just like <laughs> I, I put myself in the zero page homebrew hands mm -hmm. i just i'm like a sail in the wind just <sighs> wherever Whichever. Yeah. yeah okay what, what kind of game we're doing we're doing this cool and the games we are <laughs> going to be playing to get today are tower of rubble which I have played before, but we yes, we actually haven't haven't played that's this. That's right. One. There was two. Well, we'll get into it, but um, oh. this one's by Dianoid. Oh. Uh, Penalt, uh, by uh, Carl Garrison, aka Carl G. Uh, one on one, uh, at, by Edward Smith, aka E. A. Smith. Uh, A Roach in Space by John von Neumann, aka V. H. Z. C. Yes, exactly. Title alone, I'm excited for the <laughs> roach, roach in space. space. Whichever roach it is, I'm excited for it. Yeah, it's an actual <laughs> physical roach. That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, um, and these are all brand new games, 2019. Uh, some of them we have not, like the, the last three we haven't played really? before. The first one we haven't technically played. It was just a demo before, and you could just move on the screen. And then we played another 
Tower of Rubble. Yes. Two people were developing it at the same time. And then there was another one that was not called Tower of Rubble. It was, I can't remember the name of it, but it was the same type of game. So there's three well, being remember, developed at the exact same time. And I remember that we couldn't get it on hardware for whatever reason. We had to try to play it on um, the computer. Yes. And the wireless keyboard was not working. Oh so God. it was it was like a... It, it's it, not good. It, we didn't give it a proper go. That's yeah. That was a sort of... Um, yeah. yeah, and this was, I believe this was the one that wasn't working properly, but it was it's working fine now. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's I, just a different thing. It's a different thing to play it on an actual hardware. I don't know. It's it's something that I definitely encourage everyone yes. to test yeah. and also to, like, do if you want to. Because, I mean, playing on emulator is great, but there's something about holding <laughs> a con, uh, like, holding a controller. Yeah, an actual and Actually, joystick. it's just a different relationship. I, I mean, like, and I... Plugging it into something that's 40... Two years old, almost. That's right. <laughs> it's really, really interesting. James has a sexy TV, but even if you don't have the sexy HD TV, totally that's a, also a different vibe. I remember you had your tube TV out for like the thing. Yeah, for a while. It was actually, it was actually a, a digital display as yeah. well. It just was big and chunky. Yeah. Oh no, I mean when you had your uh, uh, gaming night. Oh yeah, um, that was actually well, yeah. There were some tube TVs there. And that was a different relationship too. So like whatever you want to play it on, I encourage you just to do play it, but hard, but hardware there's something real hardware. about it man yeah emulators good for testing but real hardware is where it, that's where we're gonna where it comes down to it's like watching it in the theater you know that's, that's how true. i feel rather man. than your phone correct <laughs> um i want to thank the twitch subscribers who uh hang or hang oh. who kept going <laughs> really <laughs> even though we're off uh gretem's ground trooper i supposed to johnny wc 23 mr fix rc70 and tiki dan k a lot of those people, people are, are in here, the chat man. today it's amazing you can support the show and subscribe for free <laughs> as well if you link your amazon prime account to twitch and clip subs click subscribe and now we have a lot of news of course we've been oh, wow. off for a month and a half and we have a lot of Packages, packaging, as you can yeah. see right here. And again, I know none of any of this, so we'll see. Oh, I'll try to. It's all good. I'll try to sneak in. If we I already know. kind of did a little look back at the 2018 Atari Awards, and uh, just recently sent off the. Um, oh wow! These certificates because the awards. <coughs> it didn't have the names. Didn't on have the it, name. Right? Yeah. And, and somebody pointed that out, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's true. They would want." their names on these things because yeah. it's like oh i've got this award who it's, who won yeah it's like the classic thing where in garage sales people will take old awards and then pretend that they're theirs we don't <laughs> want that we want no. you we want proof hey i supposed to so hey i supposed to and so i uh, got some nice you know gold reflective oh. and and then printed this out and that's printer. very nice man and got the logos at the bottom the award they won the person and the game yeah. And so it looks pretty Dude, official. Dude, Mappy cleaned up. It and... did. Six out of the ten. Yeah. But it was... it was all different people that won it. Absolutely. Like, uh, I supposed to got it for the, the sound, and a different person got it for the graphics, a different person got it for the programming. So it was it was a group effort. I think and, that... and it showed, you know, you know, all the talent that came together and, and came into Mappy. And, and nobody, nobody contested it. People no. were like, you know, that's a lot of awards. But nobody said they didn't deserve it. <laughs> yeah, that's the it's thing. Like, and it is a team sport, man. As much is. as, like, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a crazy thing. I always believe that a way you can really step it up in your game and whatever you're doing mm -hmm. is to build a really good team of people that are working well together. Because yep. you can you can really do something. Because this idea of, like, being an <laughs> auteur or a poet or yeah. a person alone in their room that's part of the gig and that's yeah. definitely where you hone your craft but i think when you really knock things out of the park is yeah. when you get because the thing is is like i mean like with sound in particular like that's an area that's a whole <laughs> field of study in and of itself and programming and and so yeah. it's like if and you graphics is like these people specialize these in these things and if you get those top tier people they're contributing gonna... to your project they're gonna they're gonna raise the bar up just that much more that's right that maybe you're not an expert at it maybe you can do okay but you know getting somebody in there and just bumping it up a little bit yeah it so takes build to your level. team man if you yeah. want if you want to like um create an incredible game that transcends yeah. just maybe and start small maybe find one other person that can do yeah. something that you can't do that's the thing yeah. look at what you can do keep doing that but if there's something you're like oh i don't quite find someone who's amazing at that and and collaborate yeah 
and yeah, doing your first game by yourself, it's great because Hell it's a yeah. great learning experience. And, and the same with film. It works with film. Yeah, and this I mean, is why I'm you're doing the analogy. <laughs> um, because when you make your own game or film on your own the first time, you're forced to learn about all these different jobs. And you're useful. You can give notes yeah. to everything. Then. So when then you bring somebody else on for you know sound or graphic, you can speak to them at a level. It's like, oh, I know what I want and I know what I can be achievable that's right and then you go hey i'd like it this way or that way and then you know you can communicate with them in a in a way that will work and help yeah. and there's nothing worse than the boss who comes in and is like i demand this and has no idea how that's done <laughs> it's like we can't do that or we can't do that at this budget or we can't do that in time <laughs> and so you got to be reasonable but you yeah. also gotta like definitely work with people and like that's that's and it's fun too and yeah and they give ideas that you would never have thought of and and it's like wow we could do that yeah awesome yeah. let's do it and and this is the beautiful thing about this community is that you got forums and yeah you've, and hopefully this show can it's... connect some people and i just love to see the atari war awards of 2019 i'd like to see Ooh. some teams that have yeah. been built to create some some new and it's a very collaborative effort even if somebody makes the game themselves they often go to the forums and say how do i do this how Hell do i do yeah. this so it it almost never is a standalone project nobody just goes hey here's a new game yeah from nothing you hear them talking about it they get feedback even game testing even like what we're doing here yeah contributes a little bit to the end game um, see. um and uh i was i did i did do one show Oh, you did with Tanya? Yeah. I heard about but this. It, but it wasn't a show because we didn't, there was no outline. We just jumped on and played a game. Yeah, what, um, was, what, I, what was the game? Uh, it was Aardvark. Um, Dude, what did you do with Aardvark? Um, because it was the, the new Harmony Games started up. You know, last year we played um, certain games and tried to get high scores oh, on yeah. them. Oh, yeah. So you started it up again this year for 2019. He's using the award show as a template for the games that he included. Wow. So Aardvark was, you know, one of the work in progress, was the winner for work in progress. So he started with that one. So he's like, okay, this That's is... That's the crazy anteater where you got to eat the yep. bugs and there's... Aardvark. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got to eat, eat the, um, I think it's um, their oh, pupa... The pellets, their their babies, their yeah, little white. Yeah, and there's the it's mother a, one that kills. Clone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the queen at the bottom that kills everything on the screen. Yeah, so he he put that as the first entry for 2019. Uh, what does he call it? The Harmony Games, as in the Harmony card. Yeah. Um, and uh, I won. Dude, really? I did. I topped it. I I for the first time. I did not get first place at all last year. Um, I came maybe. You were, I think you were always consistently top in five. top five. Yeah. yeah, pretty consistent top five. I don't even think I came second last year ever. No. Um, There's some monsters that were just coming in. And, and also, so they were tough hard. games, man. Like They, they were, were some games that were... were super challenging. <laughs> stamina win. It, yeah, I, I'm go getting to that. So, uh, there's in the it was the demo, because it's a work in progress. Yeah. Um, the full game's not out yet, so the... The one you had to comp compete <coughs> on was the demo version of the game, which only includes the first five levels. Yeah. Of of and then does it repeat? And then it repeats back to level one. Oh. So theoretically, if you can make it through all five levels and retain the same number of lives as you when you started, like you know maybe get an extra life if you lose one, you can play forever. Wow. And that's what I did. You just oh man. I played for just under two hours, which is a long time for one game. Hell yeah. And, um... Yeah, because that's the thing. We're, when you say one game, you're not talking like playing... You're That's one game like... Continuous like game. Oh, damn. And I got half a million points, which which is quite a bit in Aardvark. Um, and I, I had to quit. So I, you could have kept going. I oh, had man. seven lives. You start with four. <laughs> so you had seven by the time seven you quit. at the end by the time i quit and i said well i could go forever actually about halfway through my game i said okay if i i know i can go forever yeah how long should i go for to 
deter <laughs> everyone else from possibly wanting to play as long as I would put in the time. And Tanya and I calculate, well, Tanya calculated that at the two hour mark, I would hit about half a million. And so, so she said, okay, you can play till two hours or <laughs> half a million, whichever comes first. I love this. So I went she's... for two because she was just sitting there. She yeah. didn't even get a chance to play that whole time until after I did that. Um, so she said, okay, you're quitting at two hours. I'm not sitting here. I'm going, up, <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I'm sick of this. You're on your own. <laughs> then, then it's just a man alone in his room. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty sad. But, um, but I did it. I Just before the two-hour mark, I got the half million. And I said, okay, if somebody puts in the time and this wants deserved. to beat me... It's well deserved, and I'll take my second place or third it's, place. It's or like in those kung fu movies when the master is defeated. He's his joy in his eyes. He's like, "Oh, I met my worthy opponent." That's you know, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, deserved, my friend. Yeah, so that's what I did. I, I, I went for the half million, and nobody came even remotely close. What was number two? I think it was like two hundred k or fifty. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so there I did you ten go. times as much. I think somebody might have been a hundred. They might have snuck in at the. At yeah, the end. let's see if I. People can. have a way of doing that. Quick. That's that's the cool thing, man, with like world records and stuff. People just push. You have like yeah. a. I guarantee you, someone, um, you know, and then you can push back and. Like somebody could beat me easily, like easily. They just have to put in the time. My um, my favorite game is Diablo Two, and there's people who speed run it. And one of my favorite streamers just he he beat the world record. And he was, and then literally the next day, his his rival uh, beat him back. Like he he, he held oh, the world record oh, for like yes. half the day because this is how it goes, right? Because you need motivation to to get. Because if you are holding the record, there's no point in yeah, you know, really no. pushing. No, so, and most people wouldn't. Some some do. I've like I watched a stream. Oh, I can't remember what the name of it is, but oh, summoning salt. Summoning salt. And that's his whole channel is documenting uh speed runs yeah. in video games and some people bump their own records up but it's usually a back and forth between two or three people and they just go boom boom yeah. boom because it pushes you further yeah this is when too... there's something to aim for and you try and cut that little corner just a fraction faster these two guys teo and mr llama they go against <laughs> each other great names by yep. the way and that's mr. how it goes llama. it's back and forth so i think if someone pushes the aardvark can see how far you can push you know you need you need a contender you need a yeah well the second place was 136 oh so okay somebody so did get it pretty high but good work dude um thank you very much and i and i'm a lot more confident in playing the game for when the full version comes out i think the strategies that i was employing can translate a little bit into when the full game like level six that i yeah the I fabled mean, level six yeah i mean aardvark author said the final will have increasing difficulties like shorter days more enemy reversals yes yeah definitely yeah so um that's yeah, that's the trend that. the repeat aspect is what makes it a, a special yeah uh okay so uh my name has changed on the atari age forums whoa <laughs> uh it is now zero page space homebrew that's it's tremendous. much better because I was using an old handle from like twenty years ago. Um, so I remember we mentioned that at one point in the show that I wanted to change it. Yeah, because it was just like uh, was well, good. It's part of the thing. It's also people know who you are now. It's a lot more identififiable and... now. Uh, it just makes it better. Oh, and you got the logo too. Uh, changed the oh on mine. Yeah. Attached. Oh yeah, I've, I've had that for, uh, for, for a while. Yeah. Oh, so people know what's going on. That this. made it more visible who i was but in the, the atari age forums but just having my name it's like okay yeah. i know who how this often is. are you on there man oh every day every day cool. i may not be posting every day but you i, I do a lot of private messaging about two developers for, yeah. for games and stuff but um i do a public post once every couple days yeah okay cool um oh some uh updated information about Dude, me Kat but just shut the door yeah that's funny Updated information about Amoeba Jump. Oh, I love that game. Cartridge release of it is pending. Um, Dianoid messaged me saying, Nathan's drum is working on the artwork right now. Labeled design, instruction booklet. 
and it's going to be really great. I spoke to Albert, and we're aiming for a release in May. Amazing. Yes. That would be a cartridge to get, man. That was oh, a really yeah. replayable game. Great game. That my, my wallet is ready. Yeah, for that's one of that my one that's sure. one of my my favorite homebrew games because yeah. it's just such a classic, and I think you could you you could totally and and the cool thing about that game is if you have nieces or nephews any age easily throw, approachable, you know, you yeah. can kind of throw it on and and distract them for a little bit, and and it's classic. I think that would be a cool one to have. S Ramirez two thousand eight. I won't find you now. Yeah, you'll be able to find me any because it just flipped my name. So anything that I did post in the past, it's my same. Like the, uh, it just replaced my name. You'll Dude, be able to find me. Z- Thrust is saying he's got some. Uh, he's Massive got a whole playlist. He's got Brexit oh. debate, football, lunch, and zero page homebrew. Brexit debate. Well, I don't think much will change there. <laughs> Nothing has happened for months and months and months. You, you we'll never, see. you never know. But football and lunch. Wow, yeah. that is lots of multitasking. Very English. Of, yes. Of you, Thrust. Very very. What are you having for lunch? It's, we, yes. We gotta, tell us what you're having for lunch. Or uh, tea, if you will. Oh my God, crazy cat here. Yeah, he's... Uh, okay, what else? Oh, um, Gold Rush, um, which I did want to make the comeback game, um, but Dan's not quite ready yet, and and we do we will, all we have of course German. Want... Oh, I'm sorry, Thrust. I should know this. Very European. I should have played it safe, yes. my friend. I should have played it safe. <laughs> um, uh, Dan want, obviously wants to make it. Uh, the best possible game uh when we play it on the show um so we wanted we had to delay that a little bit because it's not quite ready yet for the first world release of it um but i didn't want to wait any longer for to bring back the show because it's it was like no i want to come back now so that'll be soonish we don't know when but uh, we don't want to put a date on it yet but it'll be soonish and i'm really looking forward to gold rush um, that looks looks really fun. I've seen some screenshots now. Um, his interview is coming. That'll oh. be coming up beforehand. He won't chew on cables. That's Atari will chew on cables. Okay. He'll just pretend. He's just chomping on the. <laughs> He's getting a bit the excited. Velcro he the... will have to be kicked out very soon. I can tell. Cause he's getting a little well, crazy. He's like shut the door. <laughs> he did. And now he's eating. It's crazy. Um. Oh yes, uh, Dan Dan Kitchen's interview uh, will be coming out. The interview I did quite a while back at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, but it talks about Gold Rush and a bunch of other other projects he has coming up. And so it'll be good timing. Past. It'll right? be very good timing. Yeah. And now it's time to open the packages, and I do have quite a pile here. That's right. And uh, cats are going a little bit nuts. They're just stoked. Okay, so some of these might uh, might be Atari related. Most are probably not, but the interesting. <laughs> I mean, they're video game related. Okay, good. It'd be amazing not, if you. They're just... not like, oh, here's a kitchen tool. Here's a spatula. <laughs> yeah, this is. What this spatula is ergodynamic. Look at the handle. Oh, on it's this amazing. Spatula. It's got like, these holes for draining. So when you're using it with, pa- <laughs> with pasta, it's really great. It's like, we don't care. <laughs> Have you seen those crazy videos where people review anything? Hey, 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 hey. Dude, he just tried to, like, hit the camera. I this is crazy. what he's doing. He's out of control. But people will review anything. They'll review, like, a Big Mac, and they'll take a yeah. bite and be like, ooh, this one was... It's really good. The sauce is great. But open it up. Oh, but this lettuce, you can tell it's the romaine style instead of... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this is from Sweden. Oh, wow. And it's labeled Homemade Computer Game. Whoa. So, got some... Oh, some Swedish newspaper. That's oh, that's exciting. Classic, man. So what's going on in Sweden here? Legendarisk yoga guru hilas varden orver och avin lokat. I didn't know that you had a... No, I'm pretending. <laughs> so this is a Vectrex game. Oh. Called Spidex. Spidex is definitely 3D printed. Yeah, this is like homemade, homemade, homemade. So it looks like I got number 65. A little Radley. That's great. Um, I'm sure it works. Vetrax, man. Yeah, it's like um, I, I saw. And look, them it's like it's like been sharpied on. written number too. sixty-five. This is great. Um, it's like a little web, and you're um, I think you're fighting against spiders, and they're laying eggs, and you have to get them. It looked really, really good. Classic. So man. I'm 
really excited about that. But this is like 3D printed cartridge. It's like all rough. How you doing? Do you want to be kicked out? Yeah. yeah. Make it mic. Oh yeah, it's time. <laughs> He's getting in behind the monitors. Oh my god. He's opening the windows. Oh, Thrust says Aardvark is basically done. Just packaging from Nathan is a bit overdue. Oh. I think you're being sarcastic. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's a demo. I don't know these things, though. Arr. This is James will know the truth. No, it is, it is pretty much done. Okay, I, okay, good. I have a version that's pretty pretty close to the, the final done version. So no we, more cats, the unfortunately. The cats have No, the been cats been are gone. gone. They were misbehaving. He, he, he went from closing the door to trying to knock the camera to trying to, like, eat cables to <laughs> then he was going to stomp on the keyboard. It was bad. It's yeah, a shame. It, it's, it's all bad. He's, <laughs> he's attacking things. I, I actually feel a little more relaxed now that Pixel's not here, which helps. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. sad because I it's, me too because I have to watch him as like oh is he killing something is he gonna knock something over, this one is from Great Britain. Mm. Yeah, so let's see what's in this one. I once did it or two times did unboxing shows like unboxing videos. But I like doing it on the show better. It's so much more fun. Yeah. yeah. It's also, it's a nice thing about live, man, is you don't have to edit. You can just do oh, it and God. it's done. Love we, live. We have too much to edit to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I have other things to edit. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit, like, interviews and stuff, but... Um, with editing, I don't know how you feel. Sometimes I just feel like it's either going to happen right now or it's going <laughs> to take, like, a month. Like That's it's, pretty it, much <laughs> it. <coughs> okay. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Lots of packaging. I'll clean up after. What do we got here? I think this is Vectrex as well. Vectrex is an expensive hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Everything associated with it is expensive. Nathan has a lot on his plate. He's working on Amoeba Jump artwork concurrently. Oh, he's in demand. Yeah. Okay. This, wanted to get this for a while. Whoa. What, something like this for a while. This, and I, and I saw this online and went, wow, okay, this is the one I'm gonna buy. So what this is, is a Vectrex joystick. And this one's really well made. Like, well, it also looks like it's in insane condition. It's is brand that... new. This is a, brand somebody new. made this. Oh, so they created this. Yep. It's called a Rad Pad Vectrex joystick. So it's got the four, it's got the four buttons, like on a Vectrex joystick, and it's got um, an analog joystick. So left is not left. This is like a little bit more left, a little bit more left, like thumbsticks yeah. on on modern uh, controllers. And uh, yeah, because I've always wanted uh, a little bit better uh, joystick. Because the Vectrex ones, their joysticks are very very t tiny. And uh, this one just looks so slick. And I got a number 107. Oh, can I check this out? Yeah, this check it great, out. great, man. These are not cheap. Dude, I think the best thing about <laughs> this is, so the, is, is the controller. You know, like this, this yes, thing. Really joystick. That's what I bought it for. Like having like three numbers, uh, sorry, four numbers is pretty yep. solid. Yep. But you can feel there's just like, you know, you could it's really. Well made. Really well made. S. Ramirez says, I want to buy Vectrex, but they've become pretty costly. Yes, they're very expensive. Yeah, that, that does look. <laughs> and uh, the games are very expensive as well. Um, luckily, I finished my Vectrex set yeah. a while, uh, a couple months back. So now it's all about the accessories. And homebrew. Yeah. You will love the buttons. Huge difference. Yeah, these buttons are beautiful. Like The click on them is great. So I guess you have one, I suppose, to... I feel like the other thing about season two that's cool is I've seen some of you guys now because of the call-ins. <laughs> oh, so that's it's true. Neat. We I got feel to like, see your faces. Yeah, I, I appreciate that a lot because I remember when I first did the show, you guys are just names on a screen, and now I have some images in my brain, which is really cool. Um, it's, it's a nice feeling. Speaking of Iosposta, this is from Iosposta. Dude, Iosposta. You don't, ha don't have that exact model, but I do have those buttons. Oh, okay, cool. How am I going to open this? Uh, just hack in. Just it's dangerous. slash it up. Dangerous. Yeah, it you is. You don't want to cut what's inside. That's a good point. Oh, oh I think I... Uh, You're so close. Yeah, very close. There we 
go. So I is supposed to sent me a cartridge. It's an Atari Max cartridge. Whoa! Eight megabit flash cartridge. Um, so this is for not for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It is for the Atari home computer system. Yeah. Um, I have an Atari XEGS, which is a scaled down game system version of it. So you'll so be able to play that specifically for gaming and not the computering side of things, not the programming side of things. So this is for that, and I'll be able to plug it in. And he has loaded a game on this. Let me get my notes. Um, because he wanted to send me specifically a game. And I can reload um, things on this as well. Oh, it's right in the back. Zero Page Homebrew. Merry Christmas 2017. Aww. One megabyte uh, Atari Blast. And it's got Ice Post on there. So it's labeled oh, specifically. Dude. Thank you so much. And it's by Ice Post yeah. himself, man. Oh, it's signed. <laughs> uh, I sent you Atari Blast on the one megabit, uh, one megabyte, eight megabits, uh, Atari Max card. Be sure to read all the Stone Age gamer messages on the tape left on the reused box. They are very, um, they are very funny. Uh, notice, be careful when opening with a box cutter, knife, or slap bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a slap bracelet what is, is a slap bracelet oh uh, that might have been an 80s 90s thing it's this straight oh thing. when you hit it and, and it goes around your wrist oh, i remember they, they a little bit of that in elementary school there was one chick who got it and was just doing it all day and we were <laughs> like what is this thing it's amazing what entertains you when you're seven it's... yeah <laughs> upon receiving the recipient must it's yell insane. i have the package in the style of he-man <laughs> <laughs> Notice sealed using three cans of Aquanet. Opening may require hammer, hammer and chisel. Notice this. <laughs> That's amazing. This box does not contain One-Eyed Willie's treasure. Uh, notice, thank you, customer, but the items you ordered are in another box. <laughs> That's amazing. Package. Oh, package something. Processing. Welcome to the next level. Notice. This package exceeds 88 miles per hour. It may go back to the year 1985. <laughs> silly, silly, No, silly. man, it's great. This is so good. This Thank is... you so much, I suppose, for sending this to me. I will have to play that on the show in the future yeah. for Atari Blast. Definitely. Um, Hope hook up my uh, Atari X E G S. If I'm lucky, it'll be a day I'm on, and I can we'll jump in on that. there, too, I yeah. suppose. So thanks, dude. Yes, thank you so much. And... I can reload other games on this, I believe, but I think I'll just keep. I think so. Keep it's, the one game because it's, it's specifically late. It's been written down, man. Why it's... does it say Merry Christmas 2017? Did it take that long? I think he tried to send it a couple times and it didn't, didn't put work the right out, postage man. or something. Um, so let's open this one next. I know a lot of packages. It's, Sorry, it's everyone. Just, I suppose has been we'll in our there. hearts for that long. Let's... We'll get there. This is from. Limited Run Games, and I think I've talked about them before. It's so what they take, they're, they're saints. What they do is they take games on modern systems, or semi-modern systems, that were released digitally only, and then they put them on disc so that you can have them forever wow. and sell them, but only in, like, batches of a it's thousand a big or something. deal though it's so yeah. this is the problem of the age of digital representation is like digital stuff is like and they're the next next gen it's probably no discs at all i think so because um google just came out with their video game system oh, they're, they're they're entering into the market yeah. it's virtualization the yeah. game is being played on their systems this and, is oh god and you can play it on a chromecast you can play it on your phone you would not even processing the game this is the future <clears throat> let's just we just can go deeper we're all gonna it's gonna be some ready player one shit in the next oh, 20 years yeah. strap your headset on that's all you need some performance enhancing uh <laughs> drugs to help you yes. with your <laughs> yeah you get bonus packs of drugs just inhale this <clears throat> just put this breathing tube on and <laughs> yeah and this output tube Boop. <laughs> Rain World, uh, Butcher. Whoa! Usually, I go th I go for eight bit style retro games, and those do really well um, on. Uh, 
they that's what they usually sell is these kind of simple games yeah yeah so that's why i buy them it's great it's artwork like, man it's incredible oh, yeah. yeah great artwork <laughs> so most of the ones i buy are like um platformers or shooters but always uh eight bit style your kind of games yeah so this is another one from limited run games because in Canada, the shipping is a little bit more, and what they did is they offered to hold all your packages for a while, and then ship them all at once for a discounted price. So that's why they all came in all at once now. Oh my god. So, let's see. Yeah. This is... Let's get all these cards out of the way. Yeah, they send little collectible cards. That's amazing. It's cool that it's PS4 too. I mean, the nice thing about yes. Sony is everything's back compatible pretty much. Better than other systems. Yeah. I don't know if the PS4 can play PS1 games. No. I'm they sure can't. they can. They but... can't play anything but play PS4. Now? Virtualized, oh. yes. But PS3 can play PS2, PS1. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're in a new era. I... Uh, Slime Sand. This is for the Switch, which I don't have. <laughs> but I have to buy the games now. Yeah. Because they're gone. After, like, they only have 1000 or 2000 And then once they sell out, the prices jack up, like, three times the price on eBay. <clears throat> Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition for Switch. Sorry if I'm boring anyone. I'll get through this. <laughs> Hue for PS4. Everspace Galactic Edition. Salt and Sanctuary. Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Project Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Splasher. Everspace. Everspace original soundtrack. And I usually open these up immediately because some of these get loose. And yeah. They roll, rattle around and get scratched up. I, these feel pretty good. Iron Cryptical. Some more stickers and stuff. This is anime style one. Momo, Momodoro Dora. Reverie Under the Moonlight. It's like a Konami game. It does. Caro Blaster. And Super High Dora. And this is a fortune in games. <laughs> <laughs> but I've ordered them over the past year. That's like yeah. a year's worth. That's amazing. Okay, now, thing you've all come for <laughs> is the actual homebrew Cut to, games. Uh, four hours later. Uh, what day yeah, is it today? Mark it's your time. Thursday, no. 37 minutes into the show, they actually play <laughs> the Atari 2600 homebrew games. Uh, um, it's, it's the it's the first we got some yeah we got a lot of stuff we missed you guys we got to tell up. you about all our all our lives so. yeah and so it's gonna it's, it's not usually and that this time long. when i was eight yeah we, we gotta, gotta go gotta, back we gotta go through it all uh, so the first game we're gonna play is tower of rubble oh yes um, 2019 work in progress oh, I can, update i can shuffle in so if you want to grab that joystick and Whoa. hold down the middle button i got you Hopefully that works. Let's take a look. Um, and this is... Oh, good. Okay. Um, this build is from March 31st, so four days ago. Um, and other games from uh, Dianoid. This is actually only his second game. He's the guy who made Amoeba Jump, right? Oh, damn. So everything he makes is turning to gold. <laughs> so far some talent he's, he's some oh did you talent. get an extender or has that always been there no i got an extender it's oh. actually two extenders I, I should just reduce it to one but um yeah because i was sick of barely reaching i it. know it was oh, a bit God. now we can sit back we can relax, relax. it's easier for the mic too oh details so we noticed better. but like you guys yeah we're trying to make it better for you guys and better for us it's better right. experience overall because there's a, there's a mic hanging above our heads so let's uh let's Oh yeah, you can't see it. So it's okay. Let's switch over to you can try gaming. And... Okay, which one are we at? This one? Oh four, oh three. No, that's February. Down. There you go. Bam. And then Tower of Rubble. Rubble. Yep. Then down to the bottom. And NTSC. Bam. Let's turn on the game sound. And turn up this maybe a touch. Okay, so before you play, because I don't think you played this much. Or at all? I don't know. Yeah. Um, the, he, he actually gives a practice screen here um, before oh, you sick. start. And because of the layout of this, you can do every single move that's that's possible. Oh, my God. So you're that little dude. 
Um, and you are climbing, you're jumping, you're falling, you're hanging, you're catching, and it's pretty smooth. He's This update actually uh, gives eight-way joystick support. Yeah, so make sure you try and get up there. Yeah, there you go. And there's another move that you haven't done yet. See between those two blocks that you're in? Yeah. Okay, so try and get between those two blocks without touching the ground. No, nope, not those two. The one on the right. Because there is a way. Between these two? Yes. Not those two. These those two? Those two, yeah. The ones to your left, yeah. Damn. How do you do it? Okay, I'll show you a move that you haven't done yet. Okay. So, okay, stay, stay facing that way. Now press down. No, just once. You held down. Press down. There you go. Now you're hanging off. And now press to the right. Whoa! Yes. So that's how you get between a block of two. But I believe it has to be the same height. It, I haven't had a chance to do oh, one it where it's backwards. You got to be backwards. Yes, you got to be backwards. Yeah. Okay, that's trippy, but I got this. And you then... got that one? That one's the, the most tricky move. Well, the thing that's nice about this is that um, there's sort of certain situations that you would be screwed. And um, this was originally on um, Commodore 64 or PC, PC, and then it was ported to C64, and now it's being ported to Atari 2600 by uh, three people ish. But no, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, <clears throat> and you see the animation. It's super smooth. Dude, it's very clean. So this is one of the smoothest animations I've seen on a 2600. I believe there's 30, 30 frames a second animation on this. It's, it's like super, super smooth. Um, S. Ramir uh, Ramirez says, I really like this game, but I haven't broken 100 yet. And that is our goal today. To break 100? To break 100. Okay. My record is 97. Dude, okay. So we have to try and break 100. Nathan Strum holds a record so far. It was like 200 or something. 172. Okay. okay yeah, okay. so and that's crazy. Dianoid says that long jump also works when the target ledge is lower. That's what I was wondering, Dianoid, about. So if that one was one higher, the one on the left, you could jump down. Oh, yeah, it hang. makes sense. Like, 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 and, and you would just, like, catch the yes. bottom, right? So it would be would like, catch. Yes. It, would, it would be like, I'd be here. Uh, S. Ramirez says, ooh, mine is 96. Yeah, it is. It gets hard. It gets really frantic. Tiki Dan K says, beautiful animation. Yeah, yeah. that is that is one of the best things about this game. It is, it's that, that super smooth animation. <clears throat> so what Dianoid did is he analyzed frame, frame by frame the original PC version and, and did a pixel for pixel um, Damn. Um, a copy of it to make it into the Atari 2600. Okay, so let's get into it. Should I give it a go? Yep, just press the button. Okay, so there's things blasting down that you want to avoid. There's going to be things blasting from the sides you want to avoid as well. And, and... No! Oh! See, I'm an idiot. And there's things that start crumbling. Cool. See on the, the left and right? And magically, this game really was made for the 2600 because everything that was done in... The uh, original PC version can be done in the 2600 fairly easily because that vertical uh -oh. I feel like some mistakes vertical blast <laughs> vertical blast um, can be done with the second sprite. Now, Shit. now you're you're a little bit in trouble. Oh, now you can get it. Oh no 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 no! Get out of there! There, there you go. That was gonna blast you. <laughs> uh oh! Get up! Ah, uh, now you're dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Jumped a bit quick. Some decisions, bad decisions <laughs> were made. Interesting. So there is a there is an RNG element to this oh, to some degree. Huge. No, not even to some degree. It's huge. Because like huge. I could just there's like theoretically I could hang out in one spot and like do okay. Yeah. But on another hand, there's just some decisions that need to be made, and I'm sure you just like it's more about you'll get better at making those decisions. Areas I think. of safety. Like and I feel like I'm fucked. You, right now you have three choices. Now you still have three. You can't get up there yet. You still have three places you can go. I mean, like, I'm feeling like why move unless I have to? Now you can get out of there and have lots of places. 
I've always taken the tactic of trying to get to the highest point possible, but maybe that's not great because the highest point gives you more opportunity to to be out of the way or to fall down to other things. Uh oh. So let uh -oh. me read a little bit about this. Uh oh. This shit's getting real. Yep. It's getting real. Oh yeah. You start getting on islands and. No! No! Oh! oh. Now, te theoretically, you could have hung down and jumped over to that other island. Yeah, I yeah. just gotta make some better decisions. <laughs> but it's you have to I move shouldn't fast. have done drugs. <laughs> no. Make better decisions in your life, man. I gotta do it. Quote from the original PC game: How long can you survive on the Whoa. lethal tower of rubble as it crumbles and rebuilds itself around you? Um, and I've read this, I think, last time, but I'll read it again. I'm working on a 2600 port of Tower of Rubble. A really fun, casual indie game that was originally created for PC Whoa. by Flatgub as an entry for the two. Uh oh. As an entry for the. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that was happening. So there's also the the horizontal attacks yes. that are going down. I hadn't experienced the reality of that yet. So so far, 78's the best I've done. And there's laser blasts coming down. Fuck me, man. Just, so so, oh, so there we go. There that's go. that's where You're I gotta. Safe. I gotta not, but that thing crumbled cool. Yeah. I feel like just hanging out in an area where there's lots of space to like. That's what I feel move. is a good strategy. Just um, to have options. A place that has a lot of options. Uh, this feels like it's fucked. Is it? We'll see. No, no, no. no. Okay, as cool. long as the laser's not on you. I see. You fall down. You do have to be careful if it's gonna destroy like the bottom layer and you fall in the water, because water is dead. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in moving unless you have to. I'm because I remember when I first played this, I was super ADD. I was constantly moving, and <laughs> yes. and it's not that that's. It's actually not a good strategy. I find constantly moving. Oh. See, oh, I needed to just move to the left then. Climbing takes longer time than moving. Cool. And if you're constantly moving, you could be moving into that beam. Well, yeah, you kind of... moving in and out takes a lot of time. You want to know, like, what's going on. S. Ramirez says, I, stay, I try to stay on the sides as high as possible, but the game seems to push you towards the middle, and you don't want to be in the middle. Uh-oh. Oh, like, no. right now, I'm fucked. We'll see. So you'll get out of it in a second. But he could I pound on get me. Get out of that, yeah. And if you listen to the music, it's in time with the dropping blocks. Wow. Okay. And the beams also get smaller every uh -oh. every quarter note, right? Okay, so there is a rhythm to this yep. game. It is a bit of a rhythm game that helps you if you if you kind of go along with the rhythm. Uh, Thrust twenty six says his arms are stronger than his legs. Oh yeah, he can pull himself up. He's been he hasn't been skipping uh, arm day. Maybe skipping like day. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, last year, two thousand. No. Oh, oh, see, it's the climbing. Is that your best? Six no, you got no, seventy-eight. Was, seventy-eight was my best so far. Last year, in two thousand eighteen, the game was ported to the Commodore sixty-four, and hopefully this year, my port will be available for the twenty-six hundred on actual cartridge. Oh yeah, this is totally cartridge, cartridge-worthy game. That's for sure. Uh oh, I'm going up here, guys. Uh, the original oh, creator, okay. Flat Club. Flatgub, Chloe, said uh, to be honored to hear that I was making a port. How cool is it that? The honor is all mine. About the game, Tower of Rubble is a simple yet very addictive game in which you control a little stick man that must survive on the Tower uh -oh. of Rubble as long as possible. Uh oh, well, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Come on, chill out here. For a you bit. got a lot of room now. Yeah. But I find the sides break away. It's always the sides. Well, the, the recommendation was not to hang out in the middle so far. <laughs> that, it it's forced exclusively you, where I've been. I don't know. We'll see. So I feel like I'm going to get screwed. Uh-oh. Fine. Okay. Just fall it's down. So, Just fall down. Uh, it, there's definitely a luck factor in this game. Oh. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh-oh. So like, Huge uh, luck factor. See, like right here, I could be screwed. Like there's no options. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, Oh, friends. you gotta you gotta go to the right there. It's because it's crumbling away. Oh get up. Up, up, up. Up is always better. Whoa. Okay, come on. Friends. 78. Doing good. Oh, that's the best thing. 
<laughs> Can you make a hundred? I'm one? done. Look, look, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Is this? Uh, no, you could climb down then jump. Yes, there you go. There, you go. and now you're fucked. Because <laughs> you have no options. You literally Luck. dead. Dead. Ninety-three. Not, that's not bad, man. And I kind of got. I don't know what's wrong <laughs> with the middle. I I think. I think you want to stay where there's most options, which usually is Dude, the middle. You just gotta make choices. There's no the real the reality with this game is you just you gotta deal with what's in front yeah. of you. Sometimes the middle's great. If the middle's great, just go where you got the most options. Like like see, I I could have made it way farther if I had been in just in a different spot there, right? Oh there's yeah. There's no there's no rhyme or reason. Like right now you're making a decision to be on the right, and it's and it's it's making... working for now, but yeah. God knows, right? Yeah. This could this could screw me over. Mr. Ramirez has pretty good score. Chris Ramirez says, that's where I always die. Can repeatedly get to the 90, but then the middle disappears. Yeah, that again is a matter of luck, but also decision making. Blocks of pebble will fall from the sky every second at random positions building up the tower. At the same time, laser beams will tear down See, the like tower. See, like I'm fucked. Like, what do you do? No, no, you have all. Oh, you have, oh, 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 get out of there! Oh. <sighs> I made a choice. It was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was close. See now I'm screwed. Now right? you're screwed. What do you do? Nothing. You're stuck. You Nothing. can't go anywhere. You Dead. have to wait till the left hand gets See, built it's a, up. It's completely a matter of like. Um, and the laser beam tends. What? Well, now you screwed. Well, well not, ne not necessarily. Okay, get right. across to the left. Ah! Oh shit! It's the you opposite. Have to climb down. Ah, oh, dude, 74. I could have done it. Yeah, you gotta be backwards. You can't just jump. Yeah. That's, no, no, the, no. that's the trick to that one. Gotta climb down backwards. Whoa! Whoa! That was <laughs> close. Into the beam. Uh, at the same time, it's like, like an '80s movie. Also, the outside movie. walls will slowly disintegrate and sink into the sea. Sounds hectic. It is. But you have to keep calm and make the right decisions in a split second to stay alive. In all honesty, I find it less hectic and more just like. Strategic. Yeah, just being like, I, because when I first played this game, I was just like, wow, I gotta move. Yeah, because a lot of things are happening. Totally, but, but actually, you, you if you just chill out and and like watch the thing, I think that's the best approach, right? Yeah. Uh oh, well, see. You got cornered. That's you the, had to be on the right. That's to the thing. You that. just make a choice, right? And but I should have made the right because I had more options. Always yes. go for more options. That's yeah. the trick to this game. Mister Fix, welcome <laughs> back to a new hey, year. Dude. Season two, baby. Yep. <clears throat> the music is synced with the pace of the falling pebble, which oh, yes. helps raise you your adrenaline, le adrenaline levels. Controls. Control the game by moving the joystick. Whoa. No fire button. Left and right is for running across the blocks and jumping off. Note the ledges are auto-grabbed if you jump towards them. By using diagonal joystick positions, you can also combine See, like some like here, moves. right, I'm screwed. Well, not necessarily. No, no. no. We've got lots of options still. Just don't, don't fall down those pits. Yeah. Then you are. Whoa! Oh, I, I went did, into it. I, I I climbed up and I wanted to like okay. move. Okay. There you go. I'm just gonna. So practice first. That's where you. Okay. Start. So practice first. Mastering the different kinds of jumps is essential for survival on the tower. Which is yeah. You you need to just have the instinct to do different things. Uh, if you if you uh, never played this game before, please first practice all possible <laughs> moves on the title screen. Hey, you made me do that. That's smart. Yep. Then I press know that. fire to start the actual game. Pushing the reset button at any time will take you back to the practice title screen. Um, after you practice the running, climbing, and jumping on the title screen, you should be ready to go against the tower. When the game starts, you will see the two green converging laser beams that show you where uh, the next block of pebble um, is going to land. Be sure to move away from that spot as quickly as you can. There are three uh, different kinds of beams. The block strike, which is the green laser, which builds a block. The side strike, which is a le the yellow laser beam, which will wipe out a full row. And the hyper beam, that's a, like a white laser that will crumble a full mm -hmm column yeah so they're kind of wiping out columns rows and then they're also building the sides too just random <coughs> you sides see, so, randomly fall apart yeah but then they'll also knock out a thing so it's just it's just a, an onslaught <laughs> it is constant you, onslaught you can touch the beams but don't wait too long as the strength of the uh, laser builds up you will eventually vaporize you also oh, the outside God. walls will slowly disintegrate right. and sink into the sea hint I'm dead yeah, and he says the long wall jump. Um, not necessarily, man, but oh, yeah, now I can do, now it. do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Options, yeah, and jump over to the one on the left, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always better to have more options. 
96. Can I beat it? Oh, my dude. First score. Jesus. First game. Yes. James, once again, rolls in. Rocking it. Current state. Because of its uh, pixelated graphics, single screen, and usage of straight lines, the original PC game um, lends itself very well to an Atari really 2600 well. port. Yeah, really, um, really well. Of course, I have to make a lot of uh, uh, concessions along the way. As you all know, the 2600 really? has limitations. It's crazy. Damn it, I couldn't get out quick Dude, enough. 121, though. That's, that's very, very good. Nice. No, the 2600 version is like there's it's not suffering from anything from the original as far as i can tell it has everything it did an amazing job at uh i, d I don't want to i don't want to curse you but i feel like I season two is all about james crushing Rocking high it? scores uh oh <laughs> i hope so that'd be nice but i don't want to we shouldn't say that too much or else we're no. asking for trouble right there oh yeah well good work thank you i mean i know all the moves i know know what so, to do so, but. so i'm going to skip through some of the stuff because it's all pretty obvious but this is an interesting section he has a, a, a to-do list i think okay. that would be interesting that to is read. that is very interesting so um a keep and display the high score yep yeah um, that would be cool that definitely would, um yeah, a, you know. and he's got some sound effects that he wants to add so like the laser strikes the player oh, die yeah. and that also will help gameplay because yep. if you hear if you have three different sounds when you hear the sound it'll also um encourage you to and you'll have a, a, maybe more of an idea of how it's going because yes. I think sound is really related to playing and it'll help us a lot. For sure. Um, a sound of the sea splashing waves oh. in practice mode. Yeah, a little ambience playing in there. Yeah. Um, a double block strike beams using the TIA feature to have multiple copies of the same sprite. Um, I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Um, what is uh, something that's built into the. Oh, yeah. Uh, to 2600 is that it has an auto duplicator so that yeah. you can do up to three copies of the same thing so that will allow him to do two strikes or three strikes or two apart strikes at the same time whoa oh so that way as the game goes on he can it's it, harder and harder you can go, oh Phew. dude okay so that's that's, that's gonna seriously step up the challenge of this huge game. and make it harder on the you know when you get to 150 or whatever, then it gets two strikes at the same time. And, oh, it, God. and he wants to do some variations in music. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, be interesting. That would be good. Um, it's a great, uh, great tune, and it doesn't really get on your nerves at all. No, but, you know, maybe as the game goes on, you can switch yeah. to different Oh, ones. yeah, when you get to 100, it's like, now it's getting serious. and step up the serious music, right? Yeah, which is always cool. And he says, optimize gameplay and increasing difficulty. So that's, I think that's related to the other stuff we're talking yes, about, right? I think so. Because right now, I think the difficulty ramps up pretty good. Totally. It does get harder fairly quick. And just just for the fact that, come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, this is, you gotta. Um, oh, 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 oh whoa. that was very lucky. Very lucky that I grabbed onto that one. Well, not lucky, but. No, it's some good decision it's good it was there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Ooh, so the climbing slow. is is a so tough slow. one. Um, and so uh, increasing uh, screen shake if you score more than a hundred. So I don't, I haven't seen any screen oh, shake, yeah. but that's interesting. That's right. There is screen shake in the beginning order. So it's gonna get more crazy. When it crumbles, I think. When the walls crumble on the side of the screen shakes, yeah. And he said, um, automatically return to the title screen some period after the player dies. Mm. So that way, if you just hang out, it'll bring you back, which yeah. is, that's pretty nice. Yep. Um, you know, because the reset is always tricky. Um, I always say, uh, from having played a few of these games now, it's always so much nicer when you can reset with your controller, not having oh, to push gosh. the reset button. Yeah. Um, not that that's what's going on here, but it's cool that if you just hang out for a while, it'll pop you back after yep. you die, which that will be a nice. nice little feature. Um, uh, note that there are still a lot of things on my to-do list. I'm aiming for a late 2019 release. Mm, yeah, that seems yeah. Well, right. well, it's great. I mean, that's Christmas I, release. <laughs> being realistic too, because um, with something like this, um, it's already working really nicely. But yeah. it's nice to do some development and uh, keep it going. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Death. Should have gone to the right. Oh, see, now you're struggling to get. Um, so hard. Well, yeah, because so you were kind of rolling around. Your first one was 126, and everything else was around 60. Is that yeah? Is that fair? I wasn't yeah, looking has, at your. 
60 or lower, unfortunately. Well, it's just, that is, there's a huge luck factor to this. Not to cut is, down your... There is, uh, your, there is some yeah. strategy to try and keep yourself in a safe area. Correct. But even then, it can just say, nope, you're not going here, and death. Um, so there was... Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're good, you're good, you're good. And there was but another... see, it's like if... There was another Tower of Rubble being programmed at the exact same time, like, making... A port of the game. Yeah. Um, it's funny how that works out, right? It's like when they had like I don't know. It's like guys, it's like it's like oh that looks awesome. I'm gonna oh, port it. See, ugh. Oh, it's tough. Uh, it was being made by M. K. Smith, and he was doing a great job, like really great. It looked a little bit different. I think everything was slightly smaller, if I remember correctly. He was doing a great job on it, um, but he posted uh, the other day. Uh, he says, um, on hold. So Dianoid has now released his work in progress of Tower of Rebel, and his take is amazing to say the least. Great visuals, music, and gameplay makes it, uh, really makes it a fantastic Atari 2600 conversion. So for now, I'm going to leave this to one side. I might pick up the game to maybe do something different down the, down the track. I'm also making the source code available for anyone who makes, wants to make use of anything. Wow. So he, he gave up making it. Uh -oh. I guess he felt uh, pretty dead. Rip. Yeah, sometimes you just put in those positions like, man, eh, what can I oh, do? There's yeah. about I think I'm, three things going at me at once. There's I think no I'm averaging about 45, probably, if we were to take the bottom and top end. Um, Trust says, currently everything seems completely random. It might be good to control that a bit. Uh, I see. Like, it's putting you in positions that may ch may not... It shouldn't happen this early. Yeah, that's a like, great point. Um, that like, might be the ramping up, because it's pretty harsh. Because I'd say if you're averaging around 40, yeah. maybe even 35, I don't know. We'd have to... It'd be interesting if we did, like, a set of, like, 10, just to see on average what yeah. we're getting. I don't think we're getting any higher than 50, and I don't think we're getting, like, lower than... Yeah... <laughs> See, something like that would be you don't add that to the set, yeah. but, but I'd say it would be nice if we were averaging more like 70. Yeah, where where I can get one game at 126, but just the randomness makes it prevents me from getting to that again. Yeah. Or the randomness allows well, me like, to get that Well, like, see, again. ways to do that would be to limit the amount of stuff happening. Like, you could only have the yes. green, for example. For a little while, and, and then add the crumbles, then add the things the, the, but it does it doesn't come right away the, the stuff on the attempted fate there. There's only so much yes do. like everything starts coming at 30 see there's lots of things happening maybe that's coming too early i don't know well you could also do like sections where you just have certain um things that are happening like just yellow beams just oh, green did be that's an, right just greens maybe building up where there's ocean and then, the there's, and then there's and then there's and then there's like two greens if you add oh. that element and then you add like the the things you know it just depends on what you what you're doing with it but that could be an interesting way to scale it a little bit because you're right that it's kind of everything all at once whoa whoa oh. targeting you or it's like oh don't go after the player right away with the green it's like if the player's here don't put the green near him and then after a while, yeah, the green gets really close to you all the time. See, like, I'm doing really well, but, like, for example, that's random. And, like, right now, I just, uh, I, literally, I oh, just... Oh, I would get to that island on the right. Turn around. Climb down. Jump. Oh, now it's terrible. Uh -oh. <laughs> it was okay. See, yeah. But, but, but no, that thing would have anyway. been done. So right now, I'm I'm doing the best I've ever done. But it's get only because of um, my... Oh, God. No. <laughs> See, I made it above, above 100, yeah, but woo! there's, like, no... No like, escape. Literally, Waiting for death. Look at, look at us. The look at us. This is how much of an RNG game this is. Like, look at this, right? Yeah. Right now, there yeah. we go. Yeah. One, But that's a good score. That's, that's... That is a great score, 114. Maybe a funny, scared-looking left-right automatic animation if you stand still for a while. Yes! Yeah, yes, that would that be sick. That is good. Oh, Dianoid, it's all random now. Maybe in the beginning it shouldn't kill you when the player is stuck. Yes. Yeah, it could analyze where you are on the screen. It says, oh, if there's blocks more than one high to the left and right, don't kill you. Yeah. Um, cause, and I think it would be cool to just have the green to start with. 
then you know but it, but pretty quickly it adds right yeah, yeah like there the immediately white. there's the white oh god <laughs> it's okay it's climb down into a beam it's so interesting that's a theme i've noticed with a lot of homebrew games yep. is is early builds of them tend to have everything at once all the time it makes sense because they're testing they a want to test percent. out these things, yeah. And then I feel like what really helps a game is is that slow progression forward, really building the block so you're slowly getting harder and harder and harder. Because yeah. it's a it's an it's an interesting thing if you let's say you want your player to be addicted to this game, giving yeah. them success early on is really important to keep people playing. Yes. Um, but I also you do have to have a build to it fairly quick because seasoned players will get bored if correct. they have to play through. 10 minutes of super easiness. That's right. But or have RF skill levels. But but also people skills. like to feel like they're doing well at something. That's yeah, a, that's an inherently yeah. pleasurable thing. So it, if they feel like they're crushing it, that helps. Ah! Aussie made a can't get out of that. You can't you can't but, turn around. But I don't think you should never remove the RNG element, and that's what no, makes things no, no, fun, no. right? Is there's always should be that factor of like at level one you should be able to technically be killed. Um, Said, well, um, Aardvark ported and Eater, but made it better. Oh god, yeah, uh, Aardvark's amazing. Oh, he said, on the other hand, this game is a port and I want to stay close to the original gameplay. That so is true. Very, very fair point. So if it um, builds up the same as the original, then, you know, keep it that way. Yeah. If people like. Oh my god. But That's I always I always say, you know, if we're here, why not take something a little bit farther? Um, uh, yeah. that, but but I understand that's a very, very, very the, important. The way to do that is have a setting on the menu, um, exactly. like arcade version, arcade version, and then advanced or beginner or, you know, set up, settable so that you can have both something that is true to the original and is an actual perfect port, um, but then something that's a little bit your own. Because, yeah, the goal is to keep people playing your game. Yeah. And um, uh, sometimes you don't want to make exactly what it was before. Man, the climbing animation is some of the best I've seen. Like, it's so cool, the climbing up, climbing down, different so features. It's pretty incredible. It doesn't feel like a, like an 8-bit game. It feels like um, something that's much more modern, even it though it isn't. Yes. It's, ah, it's, oh, my God, I went too early. Yeah, it feels like a modern retro game. Yeah, it's very Which cool. Which it is. Which it is. Yeah. It is a modern retro game. It's, brand, it's a pretty new game. Oh, uh, Thrust brings up a really good point. Controlled randomness won't be easy here. The game would have to judge if the player is in a bad position due to his own fault or due to the game forcing him into. A first step might be to avoid stacking up two or three yeah. block high single column towers. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, you could cheat by going, oh, I'm going to put myself in a position that's difficult so I can just chill out for a while. That's a great point. I do think, though, that having um, uh, uh, sl slowly ramping up the three different um, uh, yeah. would be a nice solution to that where you start with the green for a bit then you introduce and also I love the idea of having multiple ones at the oh, same time yeah. that's gonna get exciting as the game plays but it's like if you if you ramp it up you gotta you gotta slowly bring us to that yeah so you can get used to it because I love the potential of having two green beams happening at the same time yes. um, but you if you hit us with that at like 30 points it's gonna be rough <laughs> yeah ah. But uh, but I love the fact that like what and also the music changing and everything like that because like, because what's the best anyone's done is 176. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. we know of so far. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh, you could have dropped down. That would have been the. Oh yeah. But but it's so hard. You gotta make those decisions. Okay. One more one more game each, and then we will move on. So we're an hour in. We both got over 100, yeah. and we met our goal. That's right. Which is that's what I wanted to achieve. I'm happy. Uh, yeah. It's I'm good when it's good when we both make it too. It's always a oh, little bit yeah. depressing when one of us manages to do it. It's like yeah. generally it's James. It depends on, on the, the, the type of game. Like if it's a game like uh, uh, the memorization our, memorization one. games, ma maze games, you clean up. But um, arcadey style games. 
usually I'm pretty good at that, shooters and stuff. Yeah, my huge advantage is after having played Dungeons and Dragons my whole life, uh, RPGs are just in my blood. So like, <laughs> yeah, so you built up that skill set to, see, to like, handle right it. here. Like, what do you do? You're Nothing. dead. You are actually Rip. dead there because that block would have come down. No. See, I just... <laughs> just where you got That's where you when you get trigger happy, right? You have to. I think this is more of a Zen game. Oh, the first anything. step might be avoiding stacking up two or three block high single column towers. Yeah, and that is easily no. Uh, it's too Stupid choice. Like that's e easily avoidable. Like the game can analyze how yeah. how tall is this in comparison to that's the things beside. Yeah, it. because see, like right here, everything's climbable right now. Everything. But if, like, that one on the right is like, not. So now we're not, right? Like, it's yeah. because we're... So that would be good. It's a good a, idea, For a starting, starting point. So that people can just kind of get used get to this. it. But I wouldn't put that for too long. You know? Well, I like the touch of the falling block being a player object growing wider. And then it must turn see, into like, a play field. See here, it's like, okay, maybe... Get up here, block. Man, get up here. See, I'm done. I'm ripped. This is nothing I can do, really. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> see, like, again, yeah. it's like there's nothing Not that we much. can do. Oh, see, actually, you have four places you me. can go right now. Now you're good. Oh, don't go up there. <laughs> now, oh, oh, there you go. Now there's way up. Whoa. But your island is getting small. That's right. So but only but some... it is the biggest one still, so I would stay on it. I think so. Like I don't know what else to do. So like here is decent. Um, yeah, okay, but we we're done. Three. Like we have. I would jump to that other one. I would definitely jump to that other one now. There you go. Get up. Get all them up. Oh, dude! Oh, you good saved decision. my butt, man. That was Roll you. It. That wasn't yep. me. Good move. No, 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 get out of there! Oh, oh, no, see, I was doing so. I, I, I wanted to you climb down. You could have made it over 100, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry, Coffin. Spreading disease. Oh, no, sorry, James. Yeah, he says the original is uh, completely oh, random. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, but it gets is it? crazy with lots of beams when the score gets higher. Oh, okay. Yeah, the only limitation is the Atari 2600's ability to do multiple things. Yeah. At the same time, there's only two. Well, you can do tricky things, like multiple, like doing duplicates and stuff. But the duplicates have to be close to each other. Like, you can't have two beams really far away. But... I think one of the biggest challenges with gaming, right, is to find that balance between strategy and random. And it's a really, yes. it's, it's a really difficult thing to so navigate hard. because you you want uh, we want a harmony between the two because if everything's strategy, you're playing chess, which is yeah. fun, but but that's a certain kind of game. Um, and if yeah. and if something is completely random, well then you're dealing with like um, uh, pure luck and there's no skill. Yeah, in which case, they're like a dice game, right? Yeah, you um, don't know what like you're Yahtzee gonna do. or something, which is you know there's more there's strat a little bit of strategy there because you can combine and. Pick. But so, it's but it's still, still way most, more on the random side. Mostly. Oh god. Why did I do that? Hi, I'm dead. <laughs> dance, 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 dance till you're dead. Okay. <laughs> 64. And I copied the music of the original, which was hard to do on the 2600. You did an amazing Man, job. Man, it's and, and by the way, uh, Dianoid, it's important to note that all our little random thoughts <laughs> are just you know only because this game's so good. Like this is an incredible shape so far. Like oh, you could just print this, man. Like there's yeah, there's this nothing wrong with this. Yeah, you and can I'm, put this out. I love that you got a long to do list and you want to keep. The only reason why I think we got into it is reading on your thing saying like, oh, I want this to be a late 2019 release. It's like, oh well, shit. Then you we got can time. then we can talk about Let's this complain. a bit. <laughs> you know, but but if you release this, this would be totally like cartridge ready practically, man. Oh yeah. Um, th this high score would be dope, you know, little mm -hmm. details like that. But if you wanted to get into some of the some of the ramping up, I think that would that would knock this out of the park and and keep people very addicted, keep them playing. Oh yeah, yeah. If you add those, just those little things, little tweaks, yeah. yeah what was he, did he, was his other game Amoeba Jump? That's yes. What, yeah. See, uh, that was the, a long. Um, there was a fairly long cycle of of development, and there was a lot of feedback um, from from everyone, and and I think it made it. There's into some a really complete game. And there's some lessons from Amoeba Jump, right? One of the biggest breakthroughs I think in Amoeba Jump was when you started having different levels, tiering them, yes, right? And right. having it 
ramp up and get harder and then disappearing and going into oh now here's like a level of like um of of, of pure old, white exactly yeah. pure I think blue and yeah you could do a similar approach but there's no that's not necessarily what needs to happen but i do think yeah man it's yeah. pretty amazing and you're very welcome for the feedback yes and I, that's what i love about the show is this collaborative <laughs> feedback effort from us and the people watching as we're playing and putting it through its trials. Oh, yeah. Because they can also say, oh, try this in the game and get instant feedback for the developers watching in real time. That's right, man. It's like a massive... Um, it's like a little experimental lab, man. Yeah, it's like a massive playthrough with instant feedback. And it's... And it's in, in any other form, it's impossible to do that unless you like sit somebody down beside you. But you have like all these people... Anyway, let's get on to the next game, which is Penalt. And uh, this one is really exciting. Like, Ooh. really exciting. This is by uh, Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. And if you hold down the middle button. Oh, I've got it. There we go. My coffee's um, still going. Uh, the first build came out uh, March 15th, and this one... Which one should I do? The bottom one from yesterday. This one here. Yes, and this is an is this an exclusive one. It's the bin, is that right? Yeah, don't put it yet. Don't. Do okay, it yet. cool. I'll keep for it. a very good reason. Okay. Um, yeah, this is an exclusive look at Penalt. Mm. Uh, this is an unreleased build that he just sent to me for the show. Um, it does a lot. It's it's quite a jump up from the last one. Uh, his other games are Cannons, Toy Shop Terminator, uh, Space Game, which probably most people know him from Space Game. That's the one where you're at the bottom and you're shooting things, shooting the enemies, and after you shoot the enemies, a power-up drops down, and you can become two ships, oh, yeah. or you have reverse control. It's so hard because that's so many games, but uh, yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking I think I know the one. It was pretty high profile, Yeah, and, and we did play it a couple times. Um, and Penalt, so he's, this is his fourth game. Um, from the first post, I'm working on an Ultima-inspired RPG. And, and it, for anybody who doesn't know Ultima out there, it was top tier, one of the biggest RPGs of the 80s. It was, yeah. like, pushing the boundaries of what an RPG could do. I'm sure it had a lot of firsts as well, but I'm going to go and look up Ultima after this. So that we can read about Ultima. Cool. And and just I don't so know you Ultima, understand, by the way. I don't know anything about yeah, it. Just so you understand, and people out there who don't know, that how influential Ultima was in the RPG. I bet world. you it's influenced a lot of my favorite games. That's probably definitely. definitely. It's it's and it I, I know this for the fact that, that it was the first game that allowed you to have different approaches to playing the game like playing as an evil character playing as a pure um good character and outcomes from that would be different while playing the game and that is very common now where you can play as you know um you know a bad guy or play the good path for the game but this was the first one um and now it came in the fourth version of it he um, says, I'm working on an Ultima-inspired RPG. I wanted to get some fee early feedback on the look and feel of the tiled kernel. Uh, my inspiration is early Ultima games, Ultima 3 in particular. In fact, right now I'm using the Ultima 3 world map for development, but eventually we'll switch to one of my own creation. Right now, all you can do is wander the world by land or in a ship. There's more to that than that now. Uh, gameplay elements will come next with a one-line text for status, hit points, magic points, etc., and another for messages. Anyway, if anyone would like to take an early look at the engine, provide early feedback, I would appreciate it. One thing in particular I'm wondering if I, is if the hero not be, uh, not be quite centered horizontally is going to bother people. It is 12 tiles wide, so there's no way to center him without reducing that to 11. I can certainly do that, but I wasn't sure if it would be better to, also, to have him centered or to have a bigger window. Um, message uh, from Carl to me about the game. This game started out as an attempt to make a roguelike game. I may use the same engine for that purpose eventually. I'm not sure what gave me the idea to try to display a map from an existing Ultima game, but once I figured out how to do that, then my focus switched to make an Ultima-like game instead. Oh, I'd love to have a rogue game too. Oh my god. Um, it is and will be heavily inspired by the early Ultimas, of course, with similar gameplay, but it will be a unique game world and story. 
Um, okay, and I've been working with him a little bit on this game. Yeah. Because on my system, it's been crashing. Oh no! Unfortunately, like hardware or or yeah, the yeah. hardware or the, or the game, it's some combination somewhere. And it's, it's probably works on emulator. But yeah, so we have a backup. We are probably going to have to switch okay. to emulator, but we're gonna see how it's, it's hard with our early release, man, because there's a lot of things. Eh? It's a lot of things, and he's only testing on his system, and usually they only play it on the emulator to first start yeah. developing. Um, so I'm not. It's not a big deal. And it's not expected at this point. I think it's, it's only this third release of the game. Okay, cool. Um, so not a lot of testing in real world environments right now. Um, it says, hi, James. I haven't been able to reproduce your crash on the two systems I've tried it on. But I've continued with development in, in, in the meantime. Yeah, don't worry about crashing. Just keep going on in the game. Because it's, vi it's a video thing, I think. Because yeah. mine is a digital um, system, it's very sensitive to video display it has to be a perfect video display output and if anything veers from that for too long of a time it goes dead yeah yeah and, and it's good to test it on really extreme systems so that um you can so that it'll be dis, um, totally stable on not as extreme systems oh we've got carl g in the hey. chat i can't get it to crash on my hardware yet <laughs> Ooh, a bitmap display new games will have this option hopefully be in a spicy framework oh yes if spicy includes this type of framework the the rpg realm will open up dude this is like if oh. this is built in to that new programming environment that um daryl spice jr is working on you'll be in heaven I want to see, see, I wanna see some like, more RPGs, man. Those yeah. are my favorite. This is tile-based tile RPGs. Like you go, <sighs> chuk, 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 chuk. Dude, any RPGs I'm into. It <laughs> yeah, doesn't you matter. Will, you'll love this. I love tile-based Turn-based, pause and play, yep, like any of, any of those. Yep. Action, it's all good for me. Um, okay. Uh, I'm letting you guys have the first look at my current version. Changes include a new town map for Royal City next to the castle. Expanded castle map, mostly visible from the outside. Messages when entering and exiting to ca uh, castle or town. Slight improved line of sight code. Lots of bug fixes. So, the reason I w got you to pause before starting it up, because it's going to crash. Okay. Like, we won't... It will crash eventually. It's how long it'll, it'll go take. before crashing. So we can see it on real uh, a real system should we go should we do it yeah it's time to go let's do it let's see how and all and this is like you'll see something different when it loads up because this is a very advanced emulation oh it's actually working or not oh ooh. oh ooh. no still kind of going in ooh. and out is it is it just us okay so go in the castle okay i'm doing it oh whoa it's kind of working okay good it's cutting out on our end. Oh, did it kick you out? Yeah. Yeah. Is you were the just castle moving to forward? the right or the left? Oh, uh, the up. castle's to up. Okay. I'm in the castle now. Yeah. Keep going up. There go. Whoa. There's another dude. Or is it duplicating you? I think it's duplicating me, man. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, and it kicked you out of the castle. Go into the town. Oh, town it up. I'm always into going to the town. I love the different colored outlines. It oh, tells it's amazing. you where you are. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, cool. And then I can't go any higher than there. There's... Okay, that just fully... No, no. It's still... No. Unsupported signal. Please check the device output. Oh, no. Friends. Okay. Got it. Let's try it again. It actually worked pretty good. We... Not better than I've seen it before of the new... Of this new version. I don't know what that E is. It's something special. Mm, mm. Okay, I'm gonna go into the town again. Yeah. I'm staying away from those yellow blocks because that... oh, that's pretty stable. See, that's Ooh. working. This is the spot seems good. So just don't move for a second. Look, like, have you seen an Atari game look like this before? No, I love the <laughs> HP uh, 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 spell points. Spell points. FD what food. Because they had food oh. in Ultima, and you had to What's... you get hurt if you go down to zero food. I love that. I mean, there's some survival horror type games that have that element in play, and I always think that's really cool. Very immersive. There's wind because there's a ship, and it makes it more difficult Whoa. to travel against the wind. 
And then there's gold, which there's only G there yeah. at the moment. And so far, this isn't relatively... See, that like, the, I'm standing away from those yellow things that could kill us. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. But you can see there's bushes. Oh, see, my there's the grass. Wind. There's there's. See, my brick. food is going down, my oh, friend. Oh, it's moving. Oh, my friend needs some, some food. I didn't know He's that getting, he implemented the food. He's getting hungry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, okay. So we're going to switch over. Cause... He said my testing has been on the Uno card so far. Oh, Uno Stella, card. Of course. Oh, so you haven't used it on... I have a Uno card. Yeah? <laughs> do you want to do it? I don't know how hard that is, though. You're, you, you'd you be the one to make that call. Yeah, I. we may come back to this. Well, we will, because this For is sure. bloody mind-blowing. Is it popping in? Should we do Stella, or should we... Yeah, we're doing Stella, because that's set up. And I, Uno card would be a bit... Cause, so I do have Uno card. I didn't know you were developing on Uno card. <laughs> um so yeah the, uh, yeah, the chat's there. down here so sorry we, we like. look down here um so next time i play it i'm gonna go use it on the uno cart because i have one i haven't used it yet yeah but you got it so too, now man. i can introduce the uno cart at the same time so that um oh my God, i get i suppose this game up too you know the got... e is harmony encore oh because i've never played a game that's displayed that e before so cool. that's really interesting okay let's uh Switch over to the computer and Stella, and I prepared this because I knew you figured this would be the there case. would be an issue. And if you could turn off the twenty six hundred. Oh sure, just, just turn just off. Yeah, just off. What a good sound that makes. <laughs> just click. It's so <laughs> visceral. And um, I like the name he picked, and I think, I don't know if he wants to stick with that. It, it depends how close to Ultima he stays, and it sounds like he's going to stay pretty close. Because it's penult, like penultimate. Oh yeah, like the penultima. Like, not Ultima, it's the penultimate version of Ultima. It's a good name, I'm into that name. Yeah. So let's bring that over, oh god, let's bring this smaller, <laughs> first of all. Maybe I'll do it over here. What do you do? What's a shortcut key to make it smaller? In Stella? Oh, oh James I got found it. it. Never yeah. mind. It's Alt. That's still not still small, not enough. small enough. Yeah. Alt minus. Uh, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, and amazing. still fill the screen. Excellent. I probably would be better than calling it RPG game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like Pen Alt. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time okay uh okay i've got the game up oh i need to make that bigger because we've got it on a different screen oh god again okay that's pretty good on the fly my friends uh just hold it to us part of the, the zero page homebrew experience is is it's on the fly yeah not all the time but this is a New dealio. Yeah. There we go. And I think I've got it good now. Stella. Lock Whoa. that in. And we'll transition over. There we go. Okay. So you're the RPG dude. Let's do it. So I'm going to hand that over to you. So arrow keys fires me up and down. Uh, Yeah, just arrow keys. Oh, oh I have to focus on that. Sorry. Oh, no problem. There you go. Now it should work. Oh, no, not yet. Try it again. Oh, oh, it's because of the distance. Yeah. Let's switch places. Switch spots. Yeah, we always forget that this is a bit <laughs> yeah. of a... Dude, I'm in the host seat now. Whoa. I did the wrong name. <laughs> Phosphor enabled. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we go. Good call. Good call. Oh, amazing. So this is, uh, is this the castle? Let's pull out, let's see. Okay, now this is the town that we're in. So let's check out this town. This is what crashed us before. Oh, uh, it'll, it's gonna, it's gonna be totally fine. On I'm this. just here. No, it's just, I'm just checking out the, the different options. So like, in, oh, is this a, uh, this is the pub. <laughs> you can't go that way. One line for messages. Fluff, you can't fluff, go fluff. that way. That's lovely. Okay, we got the pub. Dude, that's great. 
What do we got here? We got like a maybe a store. Let's see. Weapons. weapons. Hey, someone wants his weapons. You can't go that <laughs> way. What do I do? Do I hit space bar for like um what's I don't the... think he's enabled anything with the space bar. You can try it. But it is space bar. Wow. No, he's just enabled moving around. Dude, check this out. Oh, we got armor too. Isn't this like mind blowing for and a twenty six hundred. And it's a real time too. You, it's not yeah. like I like that you. That's a good approach. So rather than like going into like a cave or something, it's just like. And then is oh is there some stuff down here too? Let's see. Let's see what's up. Yeah. To find the entrance. Okay. This what's up with this one? This is you can't go that way. Oh, that's someone's locked. house, man. It's locked. Yeah, somebody's house. They don't want you in there. Oh no! There you go. Grocery store. De, de grocer. De grocer. It's still just a map demo. No conversations or combat. No. Oh, just... sick though. But still, go oh. on the boat. Okay. Or the castle. I think. Let's do the castle. Let's check out this castle, yeah. man. Cool. Oh man. So this is like where we where we fight. This is good. So that's good. I have a, a reason to use the Uno cart now. That's amazing. <laughs> Like it's totally identifiable what you're seeing, right? Hell yeah! It's like, like water above me. We've got grass, this, like... bushes, wall. Oh, so this is actually like I think this is around the castle. Yeah, they are around the edge of the castle. This is great. So I'm gonna go into the castle soon. Oh, and there's like a dude in there. <laughs> cool, very. Yeah, cool. the uh, line of sight is way, 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 way better in this build, Carl. Oh, that was a window. Oh yeah, because you can see through it. Yeah. Oh, and there's okay. a bit of water in the middle. Look, there's like a little pond in this castle. There's a... The queen? You can't go that way. There's no talking yet. Oh. Aveline. Queen Aveline. Or King Aveline? And then the the little cat or dog with the crown? We like to think that's a cat. Yeah, we'll go for here, cat it's here. Page, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's cat, cat friendly here. <laughs> that's right. Whoa, the Is bar? This, it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Check it out. There's a bar. And it's drunken. Oh, wait. We don't have any sounds. One second. Cool. Don't move. Oh. Rations. Can we got move? some. Uh, move. That's too loud. Don't move. Okay. There we got some, go. Sorry. We got some rations King up Rufus. here. King Rufus. Oh, the, the name of the cat is King Rufus. Dude. Nice. It's a great name. Like... This, this is blowing my mind. It's amazing. I love this map. I also love the movement. I like got some health. I'm like everything's Dude, identifiable. There's an armory here too. You can't go that way. So how healing? You can get healed up. I, I like a, this yep. guy. It's got a staff. Or you can buy some healing potions. Um, this game I think is a 64k game, so you can go in the boat. Whoa. And you can see now the uh, the north and southeast like comes into play with the movement, right? Oh, so it's, it's the wind's I, I blowing from the east. You can't go east because it's too hard. I can go up though. I was sick, so I can like get out of the boat. So that's neat. So maybe if I beat like a certain level or something, then I'll be able to like. You'd have to in the original games. You have to buy a boat. Whoa. You have to get enough money to buy a boat because that will take you to another land. That's right. That's like Zelda, man. You know, in Zelda, you have like areas you have to like get shit to unlock. Like, oh, like, yeah. Like, you know. So let me look up. Oh, this is great, man. This Ultima. Is cool. So, because oh. this, he used the map from Ultima really? as this map. This is sick, man. And this is huge. Like, how much is here in the graphics and the maps? It's huge. So how many people out there? Um, I'm, I'm exploring. This is a massive map, dude. I know. Look at this. You can't go that way. See, now I need my boat. I gotta, yep. I gotta get my boat. So how many people out there uh, played the Ultima series um, on the Apple or... It was ported to NES as well. You can't go that way. Ultima is a series of op open-world fantasy role-playing games. Oh, you found the dungeon. Oh, go look. in. Go into the look, dungeon. I don't know what indicates that this is the dungeon, though. Do the you, red. Do you know what I mean? No, but like... The red for sure, but I mean, I don't know why this point is the entrance to it. Do you oh, know what I mean? Oh, it kind of switches over to the new land. It's yeah, I mean, I'm down for oh, it. Oh, no, it's not done yet. That's okay. I'm, it's just interesting. And that's lava. Whoa. This is like a mountainous oh, yes. uh, volcano area. Does not look awesome? I love it. It's currently the Ultima 3 map, 64 by 64 tiles, to show the lava in the correct color. I, I love the border of the blue kind of indicating where you are. 
like, oh, I'm sailing, I'm in a town, I'm in this town, I'm in a castle, I'm in, like, say, a dungeon. So the first, Ultima 1 came out in 1981. Oh, there's another space here. Look, check oh, this out. Done. Oh, that's okay. I just yeah. mean it was like... Even another town. It's, it's got a little flag. The flag is like two pixels, but you can it's tell it's a flag. It's flapping around. It's doing its thing. So Ultima 1, 2, 3 came out in 81, 82, 83. I completed all three first Ultima games. Did you? And I almost completed Ultima 4. It's a huge, huge game. Each one of them, like, expanded huge, bigger and bigger. Tiki Dan K played uh, Ultima on his Apple II. Yeah. So it was on... I played it on the Commodore 64. It was also on the Apple II as well. And they did port Ultima 3 to the NES. And I think maybe Ultima 4 as well. See, I'm super into the fact that it's like big enough, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah, and I like you the can I kind of memorize the map and the overworld. Like 64 by 64 is big enough to yes. go, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is here. And you can make a little island too. That's right. Once you get your boat. Yep. Best RPG I ever played was The Witcher 2. I love The Witcher 2. And mm. what's cool about that is it had an area that you could fully explore. Yep. But then when you were done with that area, you could move on to the next and the next. I uh, think like that's the perfect model for RPGs because yeah. you, you if you have an, like a world that's too big, it's too overwhelming. Yeah. So this is cool because it's like you have this first initial area, yep. then you can get your boat, and that opens you up to a new area. That's right. I think that that's a really great design Multiple philosophy. Multiple dungeons Correct. as well. And maybe you can't... Maybe there's a dungeon on an island, right? That's right. That you can't get to until you get your boat. And, and so that way it's or like... The, and there's keys. And yeah. and so it's nice to start in like a open space, but not too big. And then your yeah. world gets bigger slowly and incrementally. Yeah, kind of trains you. And, and also, when you do... When you, do combat in this game it's actually a separate screen oh dude and there's guys at the top the enemies are at the top you're at the bottom he said in the ultima you actually um gain followers like you go talk to people and say hey do you want to join my party but it, he said in this one that's too complicated he's going to have um automatic um party members yeah. one other party member um and, and you move just on the time, like uh, you take turns, T turn based, the whole game is turn based. So you move or shoot projectile or melee, then you move the other person, then the enemies move, then you do it again. And it's just, it's really, really, really good. <clears throat> yeah. And you get potions, you get different weapons. Um, and I like you just let us know what's up, the closure. And that's where you get the food and you're out of food. Yeah, I'm dying really but slowly. But your, your hit points are going down, are they? I, no. I, I don't know. Well, 10, I, 10, 0. We'll I see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, not I don't necessarily so. for this demo one. But, but the food did go down, which shows that he's got that in place, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so this is made after uh, Ultima 3. Because um, that one was like the big step up in the Ultimas. Oh yeah, Ultima 3 was released for the Amiga, Apple II, Atari 800, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MS-DOS, FM7, Macintosh, MSX2, NES, NEC PC-8801, another NEC, and the Sharp X1. Came out in 83. Gameplay. Uh, revolutionary graphics for his time as one of the first computer RPGs to display animated characters. So before wow. that, there was no animation. So you can see in this one, they move their arms. Oh, my shit. I'm able and to... Oh, no. Can I go up more? Yes, I can. Star I just can't go. Yes. Look. <laughs> there I you go. I didn't realize... Oh, but the wind is, like, pushing me. Slows you down. Whoa. Look. Yeah. And you can sail to the other land rather, look, than, rather than walk around. the other land. <laughs> no. You can, well, you can walk to everything right now. That's the one you tried to get to before. Is it? Yeah. There's no hidden lands right now. I thought, I, I thought I unlocked something special. Uh, Exodus differs from previous games in that players now direct the actions of a party of four characters rather than one. So Ultima also did that. Multiple party members. It was the first game to do that. That's incredible. My favorite yep. um, instance of that is Baldur's Gate. That's mm. the best version of that style of playing. Mm. So now your ship's there. And there's sea creatures as well. Whoa! And whirlpools in Ultima 3. Oh, where dude. you damage your ship. Actually, there's whirlpools 
that take you to another land. Smart. See, that's like, that's a little like Mario. That's very yes. cool. Yeah. And I, because there's limited RAM on the Atari 2600, that's the limiting factor. Like, oh, he's no. done. See, I, he's got everything, right? You can, um. I can't go down anymore. No, I can. I think it's wind. Come on, come on. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm finding the stretch. <laughs> the streams. Whoa. Come on, come on. So the data is going to be his limiting factor. So what I suggested to him is have have your character saved onto the Atari Vox and then plug in Cartridge 2 for the next land. Oh. Right? That's very smart. But you can't part, plug in Cartridge 2 until you get this or this or this key, right? It's like, no, you can't. And I believe that would be the first multi-cart game. Does anybody else out there know of a game that you start on one cartridge and transport your character with gold, with experience, to the next cartridge? Rather than, like, just a sequel, like... You know, Stay Frosty 2 is a sequel to Stay Frosty, but you don't carry over your character. It's a brand new game. Oh, but God. this lends itself to being like, oh, Damn, I Cartridge like this 2 is, is a new area. It might not be, but. I don't think so. It feels like it. Look. Look. Uh, See, there's water there. I don't think so. It's only 64 by 64. It's just a range, so it no, kind of repeats and area. repeats. Oh, you'll find the castle. You keep walking. Look, look, look. See, I can't. I keep going. I can't keep go. Going to the right. No, I can't. <laughs> You're look. lying. Look, look. No. Oh, damn it. Keep James. going. Keep going. You're right. Screw it. Um, no, but look, I'm in the I'm in the unknown. There look. are islands not accessible Check by land, out. but I don't have any of the other town ma maps done yet. Oh, you're in the dark forest. Dark forest. Oh yes. Just star path multi loads. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. On the car, on the um, on the tapes, like it would, you'd be playing a game, and it would load the next part of the game while you're still playing the game. I'll have to look into that. Uh, Carl G says I have options for carts bigger than 64k. Yeah, I believe you can go up to. I think there's five 12k games created. Does anybody know what the biggest, largest game ever made, or largest demo of a game? I think it's been five 12. That it supports. Um, he oh, does say I, there's islands not I accessible. Just, I just circled land. around. Now you've lost your boat somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carl G. Oh, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Carl G. Has to go. The guy who created this. Thank you for making this. This is this Thanks. is an unbelievable start to a yeah, game. Yeah, man. I'm super stoked on this. <laughs> the only thing that's not here really is the combat. Totally. Like there's no enemies. There's no second screen. But he's got the overworld. Got the boat. He's got towns. He's got the display up. He's got moving around. Um, there's no inventory yet, so there's not there's not that. There's no buying system, but the big things are there. Like That's all the right. big things are there. This is such a massive game, man. You're gonna need some time to, <laughs> oh, to yeah. figure out all this stuff and hash it out. Yeah, just just figuring out the gameplay. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> just said that as just before he said he needs actual gameplay. Yeah. But this is this is a big part of it. But yeah, you have to write out like a story, like Correct. an actual story, start to finish. You need an end to the game and you need to how to get out. there and the obstacles in your way, like the twin towns there. I want to see if I can remember where I put my boat. I think I remember. Just a little, oh. See secret in the in the forest. Yeah. I remember that. Uh, I remember that city in the game. Is this oh? So is it similar? Forests, mountains. Ooh, another hidden, hidden dungeon. Yeah, man. Okay, I think I remember where my boat is. Going to the left and down. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. see, okay. In 64, tile seems pretty big. Like, it feels big enough. It feels massive, man. Especially when you have towns you can go in and dungeons you can go Let's in. See. If you have a little island. Oh. See, sometimes. He says there's an island you have to get to by boat. It, doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me, man. Yeah. Look at. Maybe you go in the. Is that it? Is that completely surrounded by water, that dungeon there? Yeah, definitely. There's no way you could get to this without... Oh, go up? 
And then to the right. Oh, it is. Yeah. There it is. We okay, we it. found it. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Throw me in an RPG and I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Can't wait. Oh, my can't God. Wait. Can't wait. Can't wait either. And I can't wait for more people to use this type of engine. Oh, my God. As yes. well. For, for, like, you reskin it and do a new story. You've got a whole new game. It's just tiles. You can make them look however you want. See, it's, like, this is the only thing about the wind. Yeah, it's annoying. Is, is that, like, so, like, here. But, I mean, when things are chasing you, right? Sea monsters. Adds an extra layer. You're going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah, definitely. And pirates shooting their cannons at your boat. Going out. Destroying your boat. Sea, man. Going out. Okay. So, ready to move on? Yeah, let's do it. Let's trade spots. Just uh, explored everything in this. And it is just mind-blowing. Oh, holy. This is next level. Hell yeah, man. And there was a, a Homestar Runner RPG yes. that was started that was similar to this. I remember that one. But it unfortunately got abandoned because of it's so issues. It's so big. Right. That's the other thing, too, you got to be careful about is sometimes you bite off more than you can chew. Yeah. You're wise to, also you're wise to, like, um, a lot of RPGs that are my favorite um, uh, always have the model of expansion packs, right? You start with this, you start with, like, a, a first level, right. you do it, and then you build outwards. Because sometimes an RPG is almost too big. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just Cause... making one level work. Yes. And then adding another one and adding another yeah. one. Because sometimes he, I think that Homestar Runner was just spread too thin, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was just, it was like, we want everything. We want hundreds of <laughs> levels and it's just like too much. The multi-loading was why I like Dragon Stomper and Escape from the Mind Master. Okay, cool. Interesting. I didn't know that. What's the there... multi-loading mean? That's the... uh, well, the Starpath um, Supercharger was a cartridge that plugged into the Atari 2600. Yeah. But it had a lead going out of it that plugged into your m media system yeah. that you could load through audio um, games. Wow. Because games are just ones and zeros. Um, so it had a cassette that you could buy for the 2600 uh, cassette player. And the games came on cassettes. So all the data would be on there. But you could use anything to play these. Yeah. And, and you can plug it into your computer now to load the games off of just data, audio out from your computer. So, apparently there was some games made for the Starpath uh, Supercharger that did do multi-loads, not just one time, there's wow. your game. Okay, we need to go to the next level, next level. So, so it did exist. It, those were 6K games, pretty small. Whoa. This is a 64K game. Damn. Very big. <laughs> As you can see, it's a huge yeah. world and all the graphics. So much and, stuff's going on. And then there's a town that's almost just as big as the world, the overworld. Um, okay, so hold down. I got you. Button. And we're going to the game number three. I Which... missed the Atari box. <laughs> I know. Atari we'll get that going. Box. We're not Where's playing the... any Atari box games. Where's the, um, which one are we doing? Roach or one-on-one? Uh, no, one? Roach is last. We're going to play some basketball one-on-one. -on -one. So go down. There we go. So wait one second. Interesting. JV bird or Let me horse? Set this up. Okay. Oh, one is the manual. The top one's the manual. So go down the second one. Uh, this one here? Uh, down. Down. Okay. There you go. Oh, I hit it already. Oh, it's okay. Something's all crazy. Uh oh. Let me fix this. Let's change it from blue to another color. Hey. Uh, one second. I'll let you guys not see that for a second. <laughs> yeah, Nobody man. needs to see the blue. Come on. Oh, cracking my neck. That'll fix it. Reboot. That's always the method, man. I love. There's people who make careers just telling you to do that. <laughs> oh yeah. Seriously, there's those old IT guys. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Come up. There we go. Cigarette See? smelling voice. Did you try resetting it? Because like, <laughs> that 
seriously fixes <laughs> 95% of the problems. Did you reboot it? Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> You're back up and running. Okay, so this is one-on-one, -on -one, Dr. J versus Bird. Now, this is done by Edward Smith. Question, are those Smith? real yes. basketball players? I know they nothing are. about basketball. Okay. From, from a while back. Are there and classics? So, there's something... There's, I know, LeBron it's, it's, James and Michael Jordan? No. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Those are my two. I know those two. So this was an actual game in the 80s. One-on-one. -on -one, Dr. J versus Larry Bird. Um, and he was going back and forth on the naming of his on? game. And and he just said, fine, I'm just going to name it exactly as the, the old name. Um, oh, did I lose? So the first build of this came out March 7th, 2019. We'll get into the naming in a second. This build was from March 30th, 2019. Uh, his other games are Alien Attack, Alien Revenge, Pickle. Did you play Pickle with me? No, I never played uh, Pickle. Kung Fu Combat, and One on One. So he's made a, a bunch of games. So this has uh, kind of four games in one. Whoa. One is One on One that you're playing uh, against the AI. Cool. computer uh -oh. <laughs> uh, so far the next one is two player which we will play the AI, AI is hard but not hard at the same time whoa get out of he's, my way he's fast come on you gotta block AI. him come on oh no <laughs> and the uh, other two games are horse and around the world just learned that Real Sports Basketball was never released. Oh, there was another late at basketball card. Interesting. Thanks, I supposed to. I didn't didn't realize that there wasn't a basketball game in the Real Sports lineup. So, yeah. So if you block it, you have to bring it outside the three point line. So you can get three points or two points depending where you're shooting it. There you go. Cool. Was that him? Was that that you? was me. All right. I don't know how to... <laughs> so far, I've gotten a few points. Like, I mean... So you hold down the button and then release it when you want to release it. And usually at the height, you get the best chance of... Oh, you blocked it. Now you hey. got it. Oh, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> All I know... He fouled you. ...is that the oh. best method I've found is to... Oh, you got it. Hey. Now you have to take it outside. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, you got it. I got it. Right. Hey, dude. I think it was a three... Yeah, the play field in this is really nice. Oh, God. Does it mean um, he lost? Even though it's chunky, it's very appropriate. Uh -oh. Yeah, he got 21 points. First Damn to 21. It. And the, the characters are really good. The movement's really good. Yeah, this so, is super smooth, So man. let's play a two-player. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's too fast. I think that's two-player. Nope. Are you? Are you? <laughs> I don't think I've got the. Did I get it? Yeah. Oh, I man, got it. There you are. Oh, okay. Whoa! I fouled you. What, what does that mean? You just <laughs> oh, smashed no, you into you. Oh. oh. Oh no! Still my ball, so I can shoot it. I don't. Okay. Would be cool if the sound of the bouncing ball would be in sync with the animation. Yeah, it would be. I guess that's something he can work on. I, now it's just a steady... I'll oh, see. I lost my turn. It's okay. Yay! I don't understand. How it... Oh, I should have blocked it. Oh, oh, oh. Still mine. Go for a three point. Yeah! How does that work? I jumped in front of it, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there's some randomness to it. Whether you block it or not, which oh makes God. sense. You can't block it every time. Yeah. See, this is like why I never played basketball. Because <laughs> this is about as well as I did. The control is really good. And um, the shadows on the people are really, really cool. And the shadow on the basketball is really cool, too. Oop, blocked. Whoa. Denied. Oh, I have it. Three points. Nope. Locked. Oh, okay, see, into you. this reminds me of, like, middle school right here. <laughs> like, quite a bit. So it won't let you shoot unless you take it outside the line. Oh. oh. 
Oh. Oh, because it's half chord, right? Oh, yeah. God. How does this work? Do I get in front of it? Hey. <laughs> Stolen. Oh, God. I hate oh, basketball can... so much, man. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Oh, keep, I keep slamming into it. I don't it. understand how people are so in love with basketball. You know, sports in general. But I get it. I mean, I shouldn't. It's my own bad. You can you can run and jump, too. Oh. Oh, God. I think in this version, he added the first to 21. It was 99 points or something before. Whoa. Oh, blocked. Oh, solid. Oh, no. Yeah, one more. Oh, damn. See, like, this is... Ooh, I got it. Oh, my God. Hey. And there is a way to break the backboard. It's very ra it's very seldom that it happens, but you do have to dunk it from, like, here. So, oh, I see. Ugh. Yay. It's your turn, though. <laughs> Which means... Smash. Nope, I didn't do it. I was trying to smash the backboard. No! Come on. Which one's Dr. Whatever? Dr. J is the is me with cool. the red shirt. And, the and other Larry guy. Bird is you with the green shorts and yellow top. 22 cool. points! Damn. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's okay. how she goes. Okay, so let's play this, the third game, which is Horse, which in his instructions he says, do I have to explain it? Doesn't everybody know horse? No, we do not know horse. I know horse from Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. Oh, I don't know <laughs> if that's the same horse. That's oh, the same concept, <laughs> but... Uh... Uh, horse. A first player shoots from any spot. If the shot is made, the second player must make the same shot and uh, or earn H. Oh, okay, that's a penalty. That's right. So long as the player one continues to make shots, player two must follow suit or else learn additional letters, O-R-S-E. One, uh, once player one misses a shot, then player two has control until he or she, she misses. Uh, what? And player one must make the shot by made by player two or else learn letters. Uh, so how do we get to that? Game one, game two. Okay. For horse, the 10 digits in the score will change to H. For around the world, it changed to A. To change game option, hit select switch. Oh my god. That select switch was didn't have a D bounce on it, so it was going zzzz. Yeah, it was crazy. blasting through. Let's try that. I think I know where the third position is. There. <laughs> I think. Whoa. Oh, I didn't. I thought resetting didn't. It's not good. Okay. Is that how you do it? Cool. And then you press the button to start? Maybe. Try it and see what happens. One it's your it's your seven. go. Press reset to oh, no, it's the game. Just, this is just the AI, man. That's not right. Is this it? No. The game select switch is insane. Yeah, it's blasting everywhere. It the whole game when you press reset. Oh, there we there go. There we go, H. Hey, horse. Horse, okay. horse. You ready? Okay, so wait a second. Let me get it again. So okay, okay. All you, you just pick a spot to shoot it from? I think, Any spot? I think so. I just okay. go like here, and I okay. just go like, hey. No, now I have to do it from the exact same spot. Hey, give me I a... missed it, so. That means it's my turn, right? I think so. I got it. So then I, I got to go here and like, wait. Here. I guess you Here, go. You take it from I me. guess you do it again. I don't know. Okay. Come on. I'm not allowed to. Oh, you have to take it outside the three point, I guess. Okay, cool. Or maybe you're not allowed to shoot it. Oh, you got an H. So now I take it somewhere else? Yes. I'm going to take it to this line here. Okay. I and got it. Okay. Now you have to get the ball and take it in the exact same spot. And you gotta know, okay. But like the thing is, is like, isn't this like <laughs> what did I what what could have I done differently? I think you have Maybe. to release it at the height of your shot. There you okay. Go. So you have to get the ball, come here. Oh shit! 
Nope. <laughs> I, I didn't push the wrong button. I'm so bad at <laughs> basketball. I hate it so much. What's the green pattern under the hoop? Um, that is a good question. Man, I can keep going. I'm just getting, oh, I I'm, just, I'm just getting salty. Okay, now it's I gotta turn. not be salty. It's because I'm not doing well. I have to do it from the same spot. Okay. So at the very least, um, don't you? Isn't it your turn now? Wait, that's weird. You just like okay. So we'll you gave it to me. We'll do it from here. Let's see. Okay. okay. Now it's me to do it from there. Good. So now and it's, it's still my you. Go. Still you, because you're in control of it. <sighs> okay. So now I have to do it from the same spot. I don't know Give about that. Give it to me. I can't. There. Okay, there we go. Outside. Did you play any sports growing up? I've never asked you about that. Was, was there uh, games you were into? Yeah. When I was in, not high school, but elementary school, I played... Like uh, soccer? A little bit of soccer. Not at high school, but uh, independently. Let's try it from there again. Oh. Now you have to do it from there. Or do I, because you right. missed. What if I just do it from like here? We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, you didn't get penalized. So. Because I didn't make the shot. Yeah. There. So now you definitely have to do it from where I am. I don't know if it keeps track of it though, exactly where you are. I think it's okay. Kind of an honor system. <laughs> uh, let's do it from here. Let's do it from way out here. It's a gentleman's game. That's right. Whoa. Ooh. Let's try it from like. What game? Did, what, what sports did you play? Oh, sorry, uh, volleyball. So now oh, you're you a volleyball guy. Oh shit! <laughs> See, you got it anyway, but it wasn't where I was. Wait, that's weird. I didn't get a thing. No, because you bet you got it in. But I mean, like, you didn't get penalized. But I didn't do it from your spot. It. I don't think it keeps track. I think it's like you just have to be. Where oh, you're. I see. I see. Okay, now I have to do it from there, because you did get it in. Okay, you get to choose again where to do it from. Oh. How come I can't even do it from there? This is bad. <laughs> I got it in. Come over here. I will do. Get up. Okay, okay. Yay! Yay! Okay. Do it from way out again. Way back here. I miss being in Reminds space. me of the one-on-one -on -one series for the C64. Yes, that's that's what it is from. This is a, um, a I port. I miss, but I didn't get any worse. Oh. Weird. I think if you miss after I get it in. You, but you got it in, and then I missed. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't get it in from that corner. Oh, you didn't? No. Okay, let's see. I missed. Let's hold on. Back oh. here, man. Whoa. Okay, now I do have to get Whew, it in. Let's see. Let's do this. There. Hey. It it's keeping okay, track. So I got an H. I'm going to be from way back here, man. Yeah, I used to play that one-on-one yeah. -on -one game on my C64. So you did get it in there? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, You're no. catching up. You're catching up Hold now. Hold on. We're going to go from this side. Bam. Oh, boy. Now you got, a whole, now you got the hang of it. Um, yeah, I played soccer and volleyball. Um, volleyball in school and soccer um, outside of school and I like both you should do one bad. I mean fuck I've been just getting them quick dude yay um, what else I mean I played badminton oh no it's your go badminton um, it was actually so you missed right yeah okay Oh, both missed. In um, oh, in grade ten, I was taking advanced courses in high school. What what kind of courses, man? Just you know, math and uh, physics and oh, oh you missed. You got an S. One more to go. Oh, what the hell? I just let go of it. <laughs> um. So my. Um, 
courses didn't allow me to be in the regular gym course. Yeah. It's so, heaven, if you ask me. So, so, what they did is put me in grade... I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> oh, you got it in. Um, so what I had to do is go into... Be in grade 11 gym. Oh, how old were you? Well, I'd be like 15. Damn. And the grade 11s would be 16. And at that point, there's quite a divide. And so they were quite a bit bigger. And there was another guy who was taking all the same courses as me. Yeah. Um, so, but what they did, because they were, they were doing like rugby. And grade 11, gym is an elective. So these are people that want to be in oh, gym. Oh, dude. So I was in with these huge guys oh. playing rugby. But they went, no, you don't have to do that. You guys do what you want. What did you do? So what him and I did for the whole year is play tennis. Oh. Outside. Man, I like tennis is a good one. Yeah, I do like tennis. Okay, I got it in there. You gotta come over here. No. E free. Oh, you didn't get any. Must be backwards. Weird. Uh oh. Okay. Now you have the to. The stakes are high, James. Yeah, this is the last letter. E. No. It's all over, I think. Oh, I just stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I loved it, actually. It was amazing. Yeah, you just hung out with your friend and yeah. tennis all day. Yeah, so I got pretty That's decent paradise. at tennis. That's paradise. Damn. So let's go to the last one. Last game. There we go. A, I think. What's A? A is... Aardvark. Aardvark. You play Aardvark <laughs> on the tennis, <laughs> on the basketball court. Um, this one is... Game three, around the world. This game is self-policing. Oh. Players must keep track of their shots and move the correct positions. Uh, oh, so you just slowly work your way around, yes. right? So it's sort of a free-for-all. Yeah, player one starts uh, at, at left three-point line and shoots. If the shot is made, the player moves to position two. So you can't advance yet. If the player missed, then the second player can take the shot, stay in place. Uh, okay, so here's the positions. I think two, three, four, five. There you go. Six, that's seven. about that's about what I thought. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you go. So it's my turn to start here. Nope. Okay. You have to go there. He's accomplished in a short amount of time. Love the animations and colors. Yeah, he did really good. You kind of move forward there a little bit. That's, I don't know. Uh, okay. Very move suspicious. Two is here, right? Yeah. The, when it. Yep. Oh. Cool. So you stay there. Come on. I got it. Yay. Rough. Ugh. I yeah, still this... don't know what the trick to this game is, man. I think it's releasing it at the height. I think so, too, but like... Because that's what I get when every time that um, I get it at the height. Now, see? And it's still some some randomness. You didn't, yeah. Come back so, here. So you have to come move out here. of the way just because you'll oh, steal the steal ball the from ball. me. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. Okay, so, this, so then now, this is now I'm here, I like this right? game. Yeah, you're there. Oh, no. Cool. Oh. Is it? You let go of it. Is this button bad or? Oh, my God. Damn. Okay, I'm from here now, right? Oh, my God. And then, and then here? Yep. Oh my god. Then you're on the outside line. Which is this line? Yep. Like here? Uh, no, no, no. One forward. Here? There, that line. Yeah. And then the one a little bit closer than the here? next line. But on the line. Oh shit, sorry. But you did it. You won. You won. Oh, like right here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Kick my ass. So that is uh, that is one on one. Um, I mean, I'm not too into sports games. Me neither. <laughs> I want to be in space, shooting <laughs> aliens. Um, but but honestly though, take off my salty, <laughs> I hate sports hat because yeah. that's my own baggage. That's my own uh, uh, bias in terms yeah. of a game. 
very cool. I love that there's AI. I love the yes. horse element. I love this. The, the look of the characters is great. The stealing of the ball is good. The jumping, the is retro good. aspect, and the and, arc of the ball. And, and, and there's a lot of stuff going on here, like the mechanics as well. Like this would be so easy to do bad. This would, there's yeah. so many Things possibilities. To I, go wrong. I like that the jump and when you release it at a certain point, it feels like there is a rhyme or reason. It doesn't feel random to me. It feels like we're doing a good job. It feels Ste very natural. Stealing from you is great. Um, yeah. uh, half court is smart. And then the fact that you can't shoot, you got to go out to the other line. The AI is pretty decent. Yeah. Um, if you're a sports game guy, um, this You'd is probably your, love it. This is your game, man. Yep. The um, and the shadow on the ball, it's great. Um, the movement's kind of shuffling along, but it's pretty good for Atari, Atari for for movement. And the, the there'll be a lot of frames. The red, animation. the gray, the nice little shapes, um, yep. and then the different options of games. Basketball is... hoops, great. The the red and the white, the white basket. Um, yeah, everything's really, really good. I can't see any really faults. Being able to block with someone is really good. I just personally am not a big sports guy. Yeah. Uh, um, games like this. I like, for example, like the, the tire tracks one, the one with the... That's yeah. technically a sports game, but it feels no more... sports sports. Yeah. yeah, but it feels more like a... Like a arcade -y. Yeah, definitely. There's a little glitch I saw here. Watch one. See, there's a little jutting out of his totally. waist. His waistline is jutting out a bit there. There, it broke it broke finally. It That's just what I was trying to do. There's a, but there's a huge market for games like all those NFL ones, those huge. those like hockey ones. And a buddy of mine plays these kind of games, and he's played hockey his whole life, and he loves it. I'll just see him, and he'll just be hanging out in his basement. He's played so many of those games. He's played, like, all the numbers, and that's his genre. And so there's people who, the sports games are their thing. And, oh, yeah, that's all they do. And um, I wish I was one of those people, because sports games are the cheapest games to buy for any system. Totally. There's hundreds of them just at flea markets. You just... and I've heard, apparently, there's the new um, there's a new game that's a basketball game where you can actually, like, there's a story mode where you go through, like, a thing, and you have to get drafted. And, wow. I mean, there's a lot of it's a huge genre, but it's got to be your thing. I've just I've never a lot of those guys too. Like they dream of being athletes, and that's yeah. why because the, this the, allows them to be the athletes they they dreamt, dreamt of, of, and they can go through it. I've just never dreamt of being an athlete. So to me, I'm like all I'm remembering is is, is in middle school getting like the ball knocked out of my hand and being like, well, uh, I guess I'll just uh, wait until the period is over and go do something else. In the original game, when you broke the backboard, um, a janitor came it, came out oh, and swept really? it up. So he's planning on doing that. Oh, that would be awesome, dude. Yeah. So there's little additions he's, he's planning on um, adding to it. Yes, so it is time for the last game. Cool. The one you were like, ooh, I like that name. <laughs> yeah. And it, it is the Roaches in, in space. space. Bam. Hold down the button. I've got you. Okay. Last one? A roach in space. Always the last one because they're in. Uh, actually, they're Should not. I hit it or wait? No, you can go for it. You probably has already got it up. Okay, good. By VHZC. Uh, John von Neumann. Um, and the other games he. The other game he made is Night Guy in Low Res World. Oh, I, I remember I got, that one. I don't think I got all his games. But yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah, that's the one where it's got like all the little like such a diversity it's like a gauntlet is yes. what i would call that it's yes like a gauntlet a gauntlet. Game. you're just making it way making your way through all the different types of enemies it's so creative oh yeah, and every level was different i remember yeah. that one I, was... I don't think he finished that i think it's not quite like done done that's so i'm waiting for it to be done done to do another tell you look man. at it I, I, did we ever beat it i don't think we ever did oh no, we got to a certain point and it just was like oh my god Man, if Brutal. you finish that game, we, I want to beat it. I don't know if yes. you're down oh, for that, oh, for but sure. we should do like a full... Oh, yeah. That's one that you have to just do it and, and beat. Yeah. Um, so the first build of this came out March 22nd, 2019. And this one is from March 30th. These are all new games. Um, he first posted about it in March 17th on Facebook. Uh, a cockroach in space. A vertical shooter I just started to code in a really very early stage of development. Cool. It, it's a cockroach that was sent to outer space as part of an experiment. <laughs> well, they, they survive did. anything, so if you're going to send anything out to space, it's yeah, a cockroach. They're very hearty against uh, radiation, of which there's a massive amount in space. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's stranded and is trying to come back to Earth using the powers it got thanks to the exposure to cosmic rays. So there's no raid involved Gotta in this adventure. watch out for those cosmic rays, man. Yep. Uh, and this is a message um, I got from... Oh no, This he posted this. Hi guys, a week or so I started ago, I started a program, a space shooter for the 2600, and today I'm, I'm releasing the first beta. Its name is A Roach in Space, and you can control a stranded roach trying to come back to Earth. I've tested in Stella... Uh, and Z26, but I have no means to test on actual hardware, so it'd be cool if somebody could test on Harmony or similar. I'm open to critics and suggestions. <laughs> Critiques, I guess. That's with a Q. Uh, critics and suggestions. Um, so I don't know if anybody has done it on hard, real hardware yet, but we're well, going to give we're, it a go. This is why we're here. Should we jump in? Yeah, let's jump in and, and shoot some stuff. Get ready. So the bottom left is your health meter, and it's not a one-shot kill. You do have health. And Dude, I've just gotten really lucky. I'm not going to lie. That was just a lot of luck. That. And that, that cannon really reminds me of Night Guy in, in Low Res World. Eh? Whoa! Ah! Oh. It's the health. Ah! Oh. you got to shoot them. Shoot do the I have cannons. to kill them? Shoot the cannons. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, you have to shoot things to progress. I played this a little bit. Okay. Like, why don't you just hang on on one side then, like I was doing? Just shoot them progress. Just... Yeah, that's that's what I do with the cannons. I Whoa. Hang on on one side. Whoa. Okay. This is, I think I have a feeling you're going to be good at this game. I, I love just... shooters. Love Whoa. Them. Whoa. But this is not an easy shooter. Whoa. Because of the variety, okay. you, you just get used to one thing. And then it's like, Duh, This is like Night one. Guy, man. Oh, God. Exactly. Oh, God. Okay, you lose. Death. Death to you. Whoa. 2.30. Okay. I, I right, guarantee ready. you. I like the cockroach guy spitting yeah. stuff. Oh. Yeah, just hang on to one oh, side, it dodge it, and then like... Oh, so you gotta kill uh, enough of them to progress. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah so just hang on to one side and bam, dodge. And dodge. Shoot and dodge on this one. Shoot and dodge. It doesn't last very long, so you don't get much of a reprieve. But it's kind of like a long this one is hard. There's a lot of time. Oh, Lot yeah, once again, you're just holding it down. I always I, I always start by, like, shooting at the specific time, and why not just unload? This one, I, you kind of stay to the side of it. Oh, this one, a lot of movement going on here. Oh, this is cool. And they kind of reset when it gets to drop two come back. So it has to concentrate on maybe just one of them. So no, I'm not that idea. So, we'll find Sometimes out. it just kicks you out in the middle of a... We'll find out. We will. It might be timed, it might be points, it might be accomplishments, because I haven't killed two yet. Ah, oh, I was going for that second one, 340. Oh, damn, okay. So I didn't make it past that. This has been awesome! Awesome season premiere, Mr. Fix says. Thank you very much. Oh, Dan is out of here. Bye, Dan. Dude, I feel like our season Next premiere time. is like we got back to basics. You oh, know what I yeah. mean? We're like, we're playing games, we're reviewing, we're like yeah. coming up with strategies. This is the core of the yeah, show. Yeah, we, we've know? been in like Glamour Town <laughs> talking about like awards. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, as I get closer, it's rapid fire. It is, but it makes it very dangerous. Like you just got shot twice. And again. And again. <laughs> Super dangerous to be that close, but I suppose to say, yeah, my color suggestion was implemented. Roach used to be green. Oh, <laughs> now it's brown. Ah, oh. uh, three ten, about the same. I don't think oh. we passed that one yet. That. Awesome. But for the, the second stage, I recommend getting close, man. Oh, yeah, just get right up. Just get, man. Middle of the screen, man. That's the best yeah. place to be. Get you a bit of room. Up and down. That goes for you. That's a, it's a heat seeker missile. Now, I would back off. Getting all three doesn't guarantee progressing on this level. I mean, you're kind of forced to get all three. 
Yeah, I think you gotta kill both. I think you have to. Because, like, otherwise you didn't really, um... So I killed both on one of them. No, I think I can just pass what I'm doing. Yeah, for now. Let's see. Because it seems to be rinse and repeat. I don't know. There. Three, yeah. Two in a row. Yeah. Ah, there. So you do have to get maybe a certain... What is this thing? This is a bit of a break, I feel like. Honestly. Yeah, because it's not shooting, but it's kind of... It's gonna kind of... If you stay on the left... Do okay. Oops, you can't hit, kill it. I'm gonna stay on the left. Yeah, no point in killing yourself. This is a lot like Night Guy in the sense of like it's like the variety. You're just, you're variety and you just gotta fucking progress. You gotta just push forward. There's no, there's nothing. It's just hard work that gets you here. Whoa! Whoa. See, as soon as you think you know what's happening, <laughs> it's it, the same as it Night hits Guy. you, like, man. What? It's just like you think it's going one way. Bam! Fireballs. <laughs> what is this? His strength is his diversity of enemies. He's yeah. So good. At you that. get so lulled in these in these games because you just generally. Wow. Like, there's generally like two or three things that happen, right? Whoa, the music's gone all nuts. Whoa, that oh, and it's this is from the left from the now. Side. Hopefully it doesn't switch sides because I'm sticking to the right. Stick low. Three and shooting? Yep. But you got it, man. Oh, two. Got it two. Now you gotta kill two and then maybe one. Oh, oh that's yeah, bad. Yeah. I bet you that's it. I bet you that's it. Oh, Whoa. That was so nice. close, dude. There's no way to heal, too. That's no, the rough isn't. part. Now it's back to three. Alert. Alert. Now what? Now I'm in trouble. Oh, now you gotta. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my one God. life left. God. It's the boss. Oh, my God. Come on, Bob. Come on. You got this, dude. I believe in you. Whoa, that's what health. I need. Oh, one, one, full. Oh. oh, okay. Whoa. Oh my God. James, it's Whoa. an onslaught. Whoa. It's an Whoa. onslaught. It is. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh. Now it's like Ooh. three. And look, it's compl stay. completely different characters too. Completely like, different patterns. Because it's like a crazy, like I don't know, like. Birds. It looks like a dragon just flying and spitting. It's got like two horns. Whoa. Oh my god. You barely even got one. Oh god. You gotta kill all three somehow. And there's no continues, I bet. No. There's no way there's no, there's no continues. It's, it's like Night Guy, man. It just goes on forever. Oh, I got Whoa. two. Ow! Fireball meteor? What is <laughs> Oh my god. How do you possibly defeat Stand these? Oh, oh, it's that was this, just like a just time. And you got these like slime things. They're just very spinning. awesome 3D spinning. Whoa. They're amazing. Whoa. They're like turning into blocks. This is insane. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pattern. He just wants to go home, James. He just a roach just, wants to get back to Earth. Has to deal with it's all he wants. Alien. Little as you know, fireballs and purple shapes and do do it again. I don't... No, 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 no. That I can no. That was that was intense. My wrist. We'll see if how I. There's no way this is James is gonna have to take us home on this game. There's no <laughs> way. I ain't, I ain't getting the roach home. There's no. I don't know. I don't think there's any of this. But it hasn't repeated. It just, it well, God knows, right? It's been like it's all. It's new content. Constant. Content. Mm -hmm. Which was what he was known I don't for even, Night Guy. Dude, I don't even think I'm going to get to the boss. It's like, seriously. It is hard. Like, seriously, yes. though. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This is, but again, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't played shooters my whole life. Like oh, you. that's true. A lot, a lot of it is watch the bullets more Whoa. than watch the enemies. And you put the enemies in your peripheral Whoa, vision. Whoa, see, like, Bullets are are the real enemy. 
and I wasn't even doing that in my game. I wasn't watching the whole list because of that. Oh, see, like, oh, damn, I can't even... Like, that's the thing, man. Did you make it to this last uh, Yeah, yeah did. but this I didn't, I didn't get past this. This is where you died. Oh, oh see. one more to go. Oh, my God, it's so stressful. <laughs> These game. Oh! Uh. Uh, I don't know. That was a long game. Well, it's high, and it's and it's a high intensity. It's really high intensity. It keeps you on your toes. This There's is no not. Relaxing. This is not like oh, we'll chill out for a bit. The, when, when fireballs are firing at you, and that's your relaxing time, <laughs> it tells you something about a game. Really fireballs, yeah. Just blasting. Yeah, you're right about these bullets. That's the way. Yeah, you gotta watch, especially That's when there's the three bullets. It's just too much. Oh, see, this is you're already at this level, full health. This is a man oh, who's played shooters his whole life. levels are not as bad as that one. Yeah, that's a harsh one. But um but but it's also uh uh that boss was tough, man. He was. He I feel was... like I I think it was it, I'm not gonna say it was it was a lot of skill, but it was also a little bit of luck on that boss. Yeah. Because it was a rough one. I wouldn't have you have to watch his angles where he's bouncing around and what the bullets. Turned into fireballs. But they're still not there. They're not shooting bullets. Whoa! Whoa, they're like smiley faces. I can't even see them. They're too fast for me to concentrate on. Oh, no. I think this is before the Oh, boss. did you gain some health? I did. How'd somehow. you gain health? Oh. No idea. I have no idea how I got the health. I got like one extra. Goodbye, S. Ramirez. Uh, Ramirez. Have a good evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Did you ever, did you ever watch Truman Show? I'm sure you have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really, 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 great really good movie, man. And Jim Carrey is is that's one of his better movies, actually. It is. Um, I think it's like Jim Carrey's a wild actor because he does some great movies, but there's always a level of like, um, uh, like. Here we go. Time to get my health back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch the bullets in this one. That's yeah, you're true. right. You're right. That's all you gotta do. He's pretty easy to avoid. Oh, he's I see. You've you got a good technique, man. You just sort of like. No, so close. <sighs> this reminds me of sneakers. What? The sound of it, I guess. Ooh. The movie sneakers. It's like one of the first hacker movies really? that ever came out. Yeah. I think that's all we got, man. Yeah. Not too bad. At least I beat the boss last time. Ooh, what's wrong with my mouse? Oh, there's a hair in front of it. Oh, that no. will do it. That will do it. Oh, and the camera's a bit off. You're more centered. Oh, sorry. No, it's not you, it's the camera. So I'll fix it at the last second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. There we go. So, thank you for joining us on this inaugural uh, episode of Zero Page. That's right. On season two. I don't know if we want to call it season two, but I, it's probably a good thing. It's probably going to happen again after the awards, 2019 awards, another little break. That's, that's right. And it was actually right at the right time because there was a lot of promotion I had to do here. Yeah, and um, we'll see what movie. happens with our schedules, right? Yeah. Like there might be, um, um, hopefully there won't be a break before. But, no. you know, life happens. We can't guarantee anything, but we will go for a long run. For yeah, sure. Exactly. Oh, Apple II had a game called called sneakers various, oh, various enemies, enemies. Oh, cool. okay yeah i've played multiple games like this where it's waves 
of different movements of enemies and stuff. It's a fair, fairly common type of uh, shooter. But yeah. it's nice. It's, it's awesome. Like Mega Mania is a really big one for the 2600. That's similar, but it just repeats. It only has like five or six different waves. This seems to have infinite. Yeah, it just goes on and on yeah, and on. Yeah, and if you're clever enough with you know the space on the cartridge, all you need is what it looks like or what it turns into and its style of movement. That's it. And you can just keep, keep on going. adding. It's like level two is this, level three is this. Um, so let's take a look at the games we had today. Where's my mouse? And it's dead. Hey, VHZ. Oh, you made it. Just in time. I hope you're, hopefully you're watching um, because we just finished playing your game. Dude, it was intense. It was, it was a great it game. Was super intense. An awesome variety of enemies. And, I mean, it's following your night guy in low-res world. It's just a natural progression. Oh, no, you did. I'm so sorry. Oh, you just missed it. This is but you this... can catch it on the repeat. Oh, thank you, Iisposta, for subscribing. Iisposta. They've subscribed for seven months. Seven-month streak. Yeah, you just missed it, and we're playing pretty long. Yeah, we're, long episode, we've actually. been doing, like, two-and-a-half-hour two show. Hour. This is, like, the, the, the tail but you, end of... you can watch it right away on Twitch. Um, and then YouTube later for sure. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, man. But My mouse gotta... is not working. I just died, and I'm putting in these unknown batteries. Yeah, he's just gotta. <laughs> he's just gotta try. But uh, great, great game. Um, we had a ton of fun. I made it probably almost halfway through the second part of your game. I beat the first boss, and. Um, and I think probably five or six enemies into the second yeah. wave. Um, super pluses on it are enemy variety. Um, it's right about the right level of difficulty. And, but the variety of enemies is so good. There we go. Just needs to last till the end of the show. Um, so the games we played today, actually we'll just finish up talking to uh, VHZC, uh, yeah, top notch game. Hell yeah, It man. played perfectly, there was no bugs, no weirdness, well lots of bugs, but <laughs> one bug at least, a cockroach. The, the, the bug that you want. Love yeah. the premise of the game. Oh yeah. And the title screen fast as well. Fast paced, intense. Super fast paste yeah love that you can heal after the boss you know yes and a very variety of enemies it yep. just it's it's like you it doesn't I, let you rest it, it feels you like your you're toes. in a boxing ring and you're just getting hit from dodge left it, right it. stomach like and you're instantly there it's very very it's very intense it's cool and it and it's also cool in the fact that after you play it a couple times you go oh i remember this enemy this is my tactic for this enemy yeah. And then you gotta switch up instantly because the next wave comes. And then a fireball is just firing at your face. Like, you just don't know oh what's gonna God. happen. Yeah, it's... I mean, the design for each character seems unique as well. I feel like we saw no repetitions. I mean, obviously, no. the idea of, like, a, you know, thing on the screen shooting, of course, it's, yeah. that's the same. But the actual design of all the characters seem different. But and some of them were amazing. 3D rotating, like, crazy blobs and... we've got like a dragon that's like got two <laughs> horns flapping its wings shooting yeah um, slimes it's great, yeah man. spectacular animation yeah, yeah definitely really, really supposed good. to well put man um so the games we played today tower of rubble phenomenal amazing phenomenal game um even if it, in its current state it's totally playable and releasable uh and he wants to add a lot more to it but s superb animations on it Superb gameplay, the look of it, the action of it, unbelievable. Uh, Penult, mind blowing. I think it's like it's going to usher in a new era of RPGs yeah. for the Atari 2600 using that kind of engine. You reskin Definitely. that engine, you can make infinite RPGs, and, and I hope it will spurn on more games like that. 
and and remember with the RPG design, um, less is more. Start simple, keep yeah. it clean. You know, you don't you don't need to give us like a, an entire world immediately. Having a small area that you can explore that then slowly opens up is the is a really really good design approach, and it also doesn't force you to have to do too much at once. So remember with those RPGs, just keep it simple to start with, and yeah. like we will. And I'm 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 there a thousand percent every <laughs> yeah. day. I love oh, RPGs. Can't wait. Uh, one on one. Um, I mean, we're not big on sports games, but as far as a basketball game, it seems really complete. Hell yeah! And I, I've we've played. I don't want to. I don't. I'm not going to name any specific names because I'm not going to badmouth anything. Yeah. But we've played some games which are like the movements are clunky or like, and you can feel that in a game like that, if the movement isn't superb, yeah. you're going to notice. I didn't notice any anything getting in the way of smooth. me playing it. Yeah, like you can move around easily. You could shoot like it was all very natural. We didn't need to go. Oh, how do I shoot? How do I do this? It yeah. was just like, no, you just do it. And Move it's just, shoot. you're just at a disadvantage because it's the kind of game I would never play, yeah. which is not because of you, it's just because of the genre and style. Um, but that's totally fine. There, yeah. I guarantee you, there's an audience out there for that game. Oh, yeah. A thousand percent. And it plays really well. And I love all the different levels that you've got. It's in yeah, it's the a different great game shape. Plays, e even though they're self patrolled, <laughs> self regulated, yeah. it totally worked. Oh, like our around the world game, yeah, it's easy. It, it just lets you shoot. And the horse is probably one of the best ones. That's really good. Yeah. And then the one on one on one is really good. Yep. So yeah, it's a great, good shit. great AI as well. Um, and brings us back to a roach in space. Obviously. Insane. Man. I love shooters. It's one of my favorite genres, and this is a great example of a, a an amazing shooter. The variety is is huge. Like most shooters are like. You get maybe two levels in a boss, and you just repeat over and over That's again. Right. The, the the tactics like are just the same dudes shooting you. This is like I don't know what's coming. You're it's, a huge surprise. I think we we nailed it. Like it was you know it was like we were in the boxing ring and we're just getting yeah. swung at and we're like whoa <laughs> dodging what's dodging, happening? Dodging it's shooting when you can, but mostly just getting out of the and way. And as soon as you think you figured it out, bam, you hit with something else. It's very very fast paced. That's pretty much it. It's like as soon as you. You you got a handle on that specific part. It's like nope, it's over. Next one. New thing. Yeah, it doesn't dwell too long on any level. No. But long enough to give you a bit of confidence, in that you you got. It's like I got it. I got this now. Oh no no no! You're thrown <laughs> for a loop. And the boss is at the right li right spot too, just at the right spot where you're just about dying, and then you get your health back, and it's like back in again and i don't know how you how you got more health but you did somehow yeah. so that's good maybe yeah, it was points. might have been points must have been points yeah because there's no pickups or anything yeah yeah so a uh, great group of games today Ob obviously they're handpicked for the premiere but still um, terrific man yeah good, good curation and yeah and, and congrats on aardvark nailing that man that's oh, a big thank deal you. is, is there is, is your game going to be online it, it is. is is it already on youtube yeah so those of you who missed it who are holding out for like the first episode of this season i did post it on youtube so you can sit there and watch us uh watch me play aardvark for two hours and tanya go to wikipedia and read aardvark and anteater books <laughs> and they were pretty interesting actually <laughs> Pretty interesting facts. It's funny. <laughs> oh, poor Tanya. <laughs> yeah, she was getting pretty bored. But it was a Friday night, and she had, she was able to just hang out. So yeah, it's fine. It's, she's a good sport. Yeah. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out with with us and returning back with us for another season of uh, Zero Page Homebrew, yeah. Mr. Fix, Ice Bosta, Thrust 26, VHZC. Sorry you missed it, but check, check in um, the archive on twitch or tomorrow i'll upload and uh s ramirez was was yep, up here s. Ramirez, um, uh, tiki dan k definitely there was somebody else at the time azure 6502 dianoid for thanks his, for making games and hanging his out new show, his new carl game. g for his new game Damn. all the developers i think it's pretty amazing for, uh no, everybody was here weren't they i think everyone came because i know yeah um Carl G, which one did he make? He made, uh, yeah, he made Penalt, and um, Dianoid made Tower of Rubble, and VHZC made A Roach in Space, and was it just the one-on-one -on -one guy that wasn't here? Who did one-on-one? -on -one? 
EA Smith. So we were only missing one developer. That's pretty good. Yeah, man. Three out of four. That's awesome. Uh, who else was here? Oh, there was someone who I just don't know really the, the name. It was seven S E. Well, there's Ad Patre. Ad Patre. Jared but, Gray West was here. Well, it was like there we go. R C seven E. That's RC7E the one that I, I couldn't well. remember. Yeah. So lots of people. Excellent. Give. Give here a fair chance with the final version. Uh, do you mean give her? I think he, he's talking about oh, Tanya, and he's Tanya. Said, being like... Oh, yeah, we'll get her back in. She was just really tired <laughs> by the end, and I said, you have to play at least one game yeah. to get your name on the board, and um, she was able to... It was a really quick game. <laughs> yeah, she just... <laughs> yeah, she was just really tired by the end, so I don't, I don't blame her. Um, so, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, we're returning Friday. I've got a couple games on Excellent. the roster... We're going to be playing an updated version of Avalanche, an unreleased version of Avalanche, which is by Champ Games. Big heavy hitter. Yeah. Because that's coming out soon on cartridge. Um, and we have a, a specific zero-page homebrew edition of Up Plus. Wow. Of, of the game Up Plus. I think we only played Up. But he gave me the... Um, I think it, it's it's... It's got zero page homebrew as, as yeah as the the screen or something. I can't remember. It's been a while, but we're gonna be playing that and one or two more games on Friday. And Darcy will be back on Friday to play some games with us. Yeah, and one thing, if anyone's interested, um, the RPG that I play on a regular basis is mm. Path of Exile. Okay. And if anybody out there wants to join me with playing it, mm. you can find me at Erlen B. Just shoot me a message. I'll give you some free stuff if you wanted to come and <laughs> hang out and play with me. I don't play that often, but if you guys get into that, I'll definitely hang out with you and play some games if you want. That's my oh, little sweet. plug for, for, for that game. And it's free to play. I don't get any money from that. It's just, oh, it's just a game I like. And if you guys want to, anyone out there wants to hit me up, say you know me from Zero Page Homebrew, and I'll send you a couple little currency to get Two you started. And <laughs> I play on Standard League, but there's a new league that's out. Anyways, I wanted to shoot that out there because I was thinking about you guys yeah. over the break, and I was like, you know what, if you ever wanted to just play some games with me, that's my kind of game, so it's that's always an idea. option. And Mr. Fix wants to see, see Shoplifter as well. Yes, Shoplifter. And I, and I did come up with a new game idea for an Atari 2600 game. Well, during the break, because that's how my mind works. If I, I'm not concentrated on anything, it's like ideas start, yes. start coming up. And it's a really good one. But, of course, I would have to sacrifice something to start, <laughs> to start programming Atari 2600 games. And, oh, my God. I'd have to, we'd have to go down to one game, one day a week or something. Yeah, to which to is that. too much, man. Yeah, so um, we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for hanging out once again, and welcome back to a new year of Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my finger's not on the button. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Oh, and I just finished button. my coffee. <laughs> just, oh, perfect <laughs> It took me two and a half hours. <laughs> Somebody's I supposed to says there is a homebrew about a shoplifter. Oh. oh, so it's already done. Oh, guys, we got to now we got to play that on the show. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Okay, okay, bye bye. <laughs>